I'm ready. <laughs> I'm glad. Hi everyone, welcome to Danganronpa episode 13, I think we're at. Um, just a heads up, uh, the, I have all the videos up on YouTube, but the last one just literally released today and it's already banned, so you can't watch it. Um, Thanks, just Thank to make you. sure you YouTube. watch it on live on Twitch, buddy. Darn it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mod should still be up at least for a little while longer. I guess I'm gonna have to pull the Twitch version so I can make my compilation of all my interesting factoids. <laughs> what? <laughs> all this, all the facts he gives when he when it's time for him to shield himself. Ah, okay. Or at the very least, ask Jared for the him. rod if they are for the rod if they're uh, recording locally. Uh, let me get rid of you. You're illegal today, chat. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, let's... Oh, I just realized I had the wrong scr starting screen. It's whatever. It's okay. Um... Oh boy, time to dangle some rumbles. <laughs> I changed the voice for the bit drops. <laughs> Oh. It is time to dangle some rompels. Mr. Insecure, thank you for the 500 bits. Arkov, thanks for resubbing for 19 whole months, buddy. I see you in here. Uh, Rippington, thank you for the 300 bits. Geoblood, thanks for resubbing for 23 whole months. Almost two years hanging out with the best dragon in chat. Huzzah! Bernie, thanks for resubbing for 15 months in a row. Hell yeah. Woo! We're back. Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo Sorry. No! No! Dino, sorry. Aggie, thanks I'm for back. using the two movies on the cavalry. Aggie, thanks for the 600 bits. Hell yeah. Uh, and someone, thank you for gifting a uh, tier 1 sub to Shell. That notification startled you? Good. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we have a lot, I think, to go through for today, so let's get going. Um. I can't wait for everything to go horribly wrong. This is a fun chapter. That's all I can say. I can't oh, wait for everything to go yeah. horribly wrong. Ah. Yeah. Things are gonna get weird. Oh, no. They haven't been weird already? Mercro is, uh, Ikusaba. Is Toko gonna get more horny? Oh, God. Horny? It's always horny. She does that weird shit. Yeah, like last time. The last time I was here. Horny. Last time I voiced for Toko. Yeah. I don't know why. The horny. It was the weird. Punk saying horny as fucking Toko slides in. Horny. Who could possibly misconstrue horny. this as horny? It fucking got me. I was drinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look how confused Makoto is. That's he doesn't horny. know what horny is. Why? You're right, because it was just well. No, you never had your hot detective friend just kind of slide up next to you like that. I've never had a hot detective friend, so no. Whisper in your ear. You need to get out more often. Yeah. You need a hot detective friend. She just looks over at you and just goes. Why did it not say that, Rabbit? Thanks for resubbing for four whole months. I get in here to. I get in time in here to hear. It's always horny. It, like, whispered. It didn't say anything. Let's try that again. Welcome, cadet, to the cavalry. No. It didn't say anything. <laughs> what the fuck? Bad. Bad twitch. Is it because it's censoring one of the words? Ah. That may be it. Weird. Uh. Horny? Maybe. It censored horny in the text. Yeah, so I don't know if people know, but they said March 1st, so technically not in Literally. America, but otherwise, uh, it's now March 1st, right? Um, yeah. So mm -hmm. their new word ban has gone into effect, and it's a lot, guys. I tried to write the word junkie in today's title, and it didn't change the title or the game on me because it said it was illegal. And I didn't know until I... <laughs> Luckily, I double check every time I, I go live. I open up the, 
the like the actual page, right? And I noticed mm -hmm. it said Among Us, and I was like, what? Mm -hmm. Wait, <laughs> I'll hold them. Among Us. I mean, I'm down for more Among Us. It's Friday, more Among Us. Friday, more Among Us. Friday, more Among Us. But, um, Ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we had a good game uh, this past Friday. We had a, it was a fun yeah. time. Yeah. Um, it was a lot of fun. Much fun. Into my I was chair. dumb, I'm sorry. You were what? No, you weren't. I, were, I was very dumb. But that's what makes it fun, right? People, that was a good moment. I guess. It <laughs> Where just is felt the party, like... punk? Ah, the trash! <laughs> it was good! <laughs> <laughs> and it was... <laughs> it was my kill, so I'm just watching her lose her shit, and I'm laughing <laughs> silently. <Bad. laughs> yes. It was so good. It was so funny. It was so funny. Tobbs, thanks for clipping it, by the way, but it I'm was so fantastic. I'm you guys enjoyed that, because I was just like... I wanted to slam my face into my desk. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, we all have moments like that. We were talking about something earlier in the day today, and um, what was it? And we were talking about if it was subbed or dubbed or something. And I, oh, when, they were like, oh, you guys were like, is it in English? Yeah, and I said, thing. no, no, it's dubbed. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then we're all like, wait, you mean wait. subbed? And I was just like, yeah, that. <laughs> It was the the Gengar <laughs> short? Oh yeah, 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 the Pokemon short. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Chera making the dial-up noise in her what? head. Wait. And yes. then the Chera just <laughs> walk, awkwardly walked into the ocean. I did. I did. I deserved <laughs> it. Um, but. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Aggie, thanks for the two hundred bits. Probate Icon is giving Makoto weird teeth. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you are. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kinda... Oh, that's creepy and wonderful. It also gives like... <laughs> no, no, no. That that his mustache that that makes his mouth like a little mustache instead. It does. Oh, yeah. Oh, finally has control of Makoto's mouth. No. Invest in crypto. No. No. no! <laughs> Don't you put words in his mouth. God. Damn. Well, I mean, he's already putting words it's in my head. So now, yeah. God damn it. Uh, if Chera were to move the image up just an inch, it would be completely in place. No, because then <laughs> the teeth aren't big enough to do it. Which is sad, but it's still yeah. a funny bit regardless. I like it. Yeah. I can make probate. Hold on. <laughs> Slightly, Slightly bigger. bigger. What if I make you bigger? Up? Yeah. Hold on. Just giving me horrible, oh, no, you're giving him teeth. too much power. <laughs> horrible, well defined teeth. Oh no, <laughs> that horrific know. Zig's mouth. Oh, that's terrifying. I am assuming direct control of Makoto's orifice. <laughs> that no! wording could have been a lot better. You say orifice, <laughs> that wording could have been orifice. No, you mean his face Bussy? sphincter. What? Base uh, of uh, sphincter. <laughs> we are two lines of text into this game today. This is not, not even. Even. This is the horrifying the, timeline. Got it. My, my power wanes. I'm trying to decide uh, if I should keep you on this side or that side. <laughs> Chat, where do you like probate? Do you like him here or where he was before? He's coming next to Arkolf. Or anywhere. In, in Maggie's orifices. Above? No! I have him sitting on Arkolf's head. <laughs> <laughs> now he's off in the corner. Now I'm the top dog, Satan. On, on my hat? I move too much, though. He'd yeah. fall off. Uh, he is a ball, in fact. Ball he of would, bitch. He, he would roll around everywhere. Yeah. You might be on top, Mammon, but unlike Makoto, Satan is a power bottom. <laughs> I see no input on this, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> I hear that word coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'll just put you up here. You the words face sphincter and Satan being a power bottom are within <laughs> the Arkham first. A power bottom <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a good oh. session. This is the blurst yeah. timeline. There's not, not even any background music or anything, no. so it's just like. <laughs> it's just us bullshitting for the first to half be, hour. Uh, to be fair, <clears throat> I don't think the mouth counts as a sphincter. It's not constantly kept tight by muscles. Lips are, yes. 
You can look. You can Google it. The lips. But they're are not always active. tense. They don't always have to be. No, but the couple is like becoming increasingly so as this conversation keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> Birdie, I'm glad I'm back too. But... No, you're gonna make me cry. You shut up. You shush. What? It's Birdie being cute and shit. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, not that one. What? Then what one? The one oh, in the game. The one on the screen. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize either. Mercro Ikusaba. We said this at the end of. Oh, God damn it. The 16th yeah. student lying hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Is that the one that bogged me on the head? Watch out for her. You didn't tell me if she was the one that bogged me on the head, right? I wasn't there! <laughs> you tell me, right? Uh, Kyoko told me to watch out for her. Mukuro Ikusaba. That was three days before the next incident. <laughs> yeah. Well, now we know there's gonna be a next incident. Fucking spoilers. Yeah, spoilers, game! For, Kodo. <laughs> for once, it wasn't me. <laughs> three days before you would be faced with another murder. Oh, you're just, you're just ruining for everybody. What? Jeez. Wait! Wow. <laughs> what? Uh-huh! Say the thing! <laughs> Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. I stabbed a luchador? Wait, why the- You stabbed the Phantom Mask Wait. from Mario 2. Why am I assuming I stabbed them? No, it's I mean, I was uh, assaulted uh, by this person. Finally, we will finally get to my chapter. Oh boy. Painted fingernails, so... I mean, I was the one that was assaulted by them, but that doesn't mean that I would do it. I'm apparently really secretly vengeful. In the meantime, the day after soccer is class trial. That morning in the dining hall. So, let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Why the fuck do you want to talk to everybody now, Biakia? Yeah, shut up. Because there's only like five characters left. What do you yeah. want? <laughs> fuck you! Go wander off around the school again. <laughs> Nobody wants you here anymore. Well, I realize I'm also inspired by Sakura's sacrifice. He's vowed to destroy the mastermind for putting together a boring game. You actually, Let he's actually pissed. For half a day. Yeah, he's pissed off. I know. It's just funny. Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. You never just get straight to the point like that. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. How high, how high is that horse of yours? Hold on, let I me fed turn it you that up. new Pokemon. I am impressed <laughs> that it even fits in the building. Grass cat. He just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think anyway. <sighs> Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. Are you the protagonist of this video game that has been fixing everything? I mean, I am the main character, after all. The gun just slowly comes out of the jacket. <laughs> I have here, plot <laughs> armor. Here, safety click off. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. Gross. They're not bloated, they're full, bitch. But that mean we can get milk out of it? Uh, uh... No. I don't like the sentence milk the mastermind. I don't want to No! Think milk, get milk. <laughs> no. I could make a good book series out of that. No, anyways. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Hey, Toka. You've been pretty quiet. More ellipses. You're so boring now! You just sit there like a mushroom! Because I'm just calling you Miss Mushroom! Mm, more ellipses. She, did, she didn't snap back at you. Uh, her talking makes things difficult. So I told her not to open her mouth without my permission. <laughs> what? What? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. Thank Not you, my Pina. problem. <laughs> I, I, I don't care. Well, let me turn you up, too. <clears throat> I will also scoot a little closer to my microphone. It's good. How, how 
How's this sound, guys? Is this any better? <laughs> oh You're okay God. with that, Toko? More ellipses. Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? Ah, uh, I believe this is the small talk Byakia warned us against. How the fuck are you on his side? And yet, I let myself get involved. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. <laughs> the gun comes more out of the jacket. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouth and start moving your legs. Pressured by an obviously irritated Byakia, we all started our explora uh, exploration. 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 Is there an entirely new level to the school once again? Would you like to hear something be. cursed, Makoto? No, but you're gonna tell me anyway. What is it, Satan? Be fair, it's a topic that was discussed earlier. Oh god, no. Are you aware of Monokuma's Master Milkies? <laughs> <laughs> yes? I, I don't I like... <laughs> I don't like anything about what you just said, Satan. Listen, I mean, Makoto, if you're not suffering, me and Satan not doing our jobs. I mean, since it's a mystery game, wouldn't it be Mystery Master Milkies? Uh, oh, it right gets worse. Oh, I don't like any of this. <laughs> Monokuma's <laughs> Mysterious Master Milkies. They are, some be... they are some massive mysterious master mystery milkies. I wish for death. <laughs> it just <laughs> gets worse. I wish uh... for death. Yeah. It shall be granted. So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope Peak please. Academy. The fifth floor has been opened up to us. And it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up till now. Yeah, uh, why is there, like, actual plant life? It's probably painted on the walls or plastic bamboo. For some reason, it feels unpleasant. That's not the floor. You just you just stepped on a splinter. Where are his shoes? He doesn't have them anymore. It was a very long splinter. <laughs> what a Biaka, you take them? What a what? No. No step. So dirty. Nighttime oh. secrets. <laughs> no. And he... oh. Well, that's in line with what we've been discussing so far. <laughs> Apparently, oh. Monokuma likes the steppy. As is like the kind of cow pattern on the wall. No more. Do you think Sean he squeaks? Saw. Do you think he squeaks when you step on him? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh yeah. He, just, he absolutely he has the you know squeak toy in there. Do you think he likes to get stepped on because he's jealous? He doesn't have toes. No also, wounds. part of the reason that we can't assault him, or else we would all understand that he's not actually to be feared because he makes squeaky toy noises. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, Why? What does the classroom have giraffe yeah. wallpaper? I, I don't yeah. like it. To make you know. feel uncomfortable. It's, it's yeah. a, that's the class was dedicated specifically to the ultimate pimp. No, you want to wow. make it more uncomfortable? Wow. It's not wallpaper, it's leather. Ah. Ah. It probably would be Giraffes too, are so knowing Monokuma. Weird though. <laughs> Makoto. That's <laughs> if you can. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait up! I'm gonna punish you! And then Kyoko in the corner. Gross. Gross. <laughs> no, does Monokuma have a tiny knife? I think so. <laughs> I'm gonna punish you. Boy, I hope that's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Get to me if you can. There's a little heart. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a knife. That's a blunt. <laughs> Your punishment is smoking. Hi, Galt. It's like a cave full of blood smoking. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm straight edge. Nice. Oh, right. We have a billion gotcha. Oh, we should probably do that. It's all right. We have time. Yeah. We have time. Ellipses. Mm -hmm. Does she want to talk to me about something? Toko, what's wrong? Is she trying to say something? I think she's almost... J just a little more and I might get it. 
I'm sorry, but I have no idea what it is you're trying to tell me. She just let her shoulders drop. She looks so sad. I guess she gave up. She probably wants to question Makoto about this. <laughs> <laughs> I would too. Are you fucking the bear? No! <laughs> don't you start laughing from the vents! <laughs> we don't have the demon of lust up in here, so that's a big negatory. This this floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. There's some reason for that. I hope it's not anything too creepy. It's gonna be creepy. Just gonna like stay. your affair with the bear. Oh. The like scream? The <laughs> what the hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled... What was sour, pungent, impossibly rank. Like Hifumi. God, it smells like Hifumi in yeah. here, doesn't it? <laughs> it's... Ugh. It must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses, I do believe. Are you saying... It's the smell of death. Their flesh and fat and blood. There was no surprise in his voice. No shock. But he was right. I had experienced the smell more than once before. It was the smell of death and despair. Boop, 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 boop. No, not but... despair. <laughs> that but the smell here is strong, condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. What the hell do you... Monokuma must have... What? My fault again? Stop trying to blame everything on me! If, if you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. No! No, no! It's quite the opposite! The opposite? Yep. Let me give you an itty bitty, eggy, squiggy little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs in those mean old RPGs. But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody gruesome deaths every day. So it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. What's he talking about? He just left it the way he found it. What's the meaning of all this? You know, I can't look at the scratches on the black wall without thinking about the horrific sound that emanated from it. I wonder if there's coins in here. <laughs> I wonder if there's more gotcha. Nice! In this world, nice. Where flesh blood is bright pain. And dried blood is red. Yeah, apparently this didn't. Apparently this made it past sensors. That's why I think they're all clones. They're all pink-blooded robot clones. Nah, no, it's all the Pepto. Van blood should be nearly black by now. If it's been yep. dry. Yeah. There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever ag against such a ghastly sight. It appears all the blood stains are dry. And their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. I'm now under the impression that humans in this world are powered by just pink yogurt for blood. <laughs> <laughs> Even worse, it's G-Fuel. 
Oh, it's, Lord. It's whatever that pink shit is from the Teletubbies. No, it's pancake batter and pink paint. God damn it. Teletubby pink goop. Back. This is all really blood. No, it's your mom's spaghetti. Of course, I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. And it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? He seems like he's enjoying himself. In no way I can keep up with someone like that. Um, Byakia? Ten dollars. About what Monokuma just told us. It's like I'm not even here. He must be lost in thought. Or just being a bitch. You're not using too much. much. If I started charging ten dollars for copyrighted name. Nah. At least twenty. Yes. Twenty dollars sounds like a fair price for my name. Is he really thinking that hard or is he just flat out ignoring me? You've known him for about what? Three weeks now? Oh god, is that only how long it's been? Yeah, not like, long. Yeah, yeah, it's been pretty short. Yeah, like two or three weeks, I think. Yeah. You guys did start killing each other after like day four. Actually, well, I mean, childhood friend Chan had some, some issues she needed to work out, and apparently it didn't work out. <laughs> there were white chalk... It. Yeah. There were white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing on detective shows and stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of a murder. Mm. I, wish... Find out. One, <laughs> I wish I could say two, I don't believe three. it. Is this how they make blood angels? <laughs> I was gonna say it was snow angels, but hey, whatever. Chalk angels. Blood angels. That's something different. I hear blood. Angels. This makes me think of Rudy to Booty. Rudy! Rudy's got the chalk. You gotta, you gotta draw do... something, Makoto! You gotta draw something! Supposed to be here. Oh, hi, eh, it doesn't go. matter. Hmm. What Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? Again? Oh my, oh my gosh. This <laughs> is the third <laughs> fucking time! <laughs> I'm gonna be just Welcome shoving. to this game. It is Where ramming it everything. down our throat. Oh my Makoto god. Makoto is just really thinking hard about when Kyoko was I don't white remember it being part. this bad, but alright, here we are. That's the, that's the Honestly, face you make when someone whispers to you, I farted. No! <laughs> Honestly, every game has like at least one particularly bad scene where it's just, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you hear it? Maybe one more time? Just to be sure. Now I'm thinking about the fucking Digi rant from Digimon the movie. Oh. And the best song ever made. It was the best song in the world. Um, Kyoko? I'm not going to say anything just did huh i can't say anything kyoko narrowed her eyes her gaze darted up to the surveillance camera you understand why right She was trying to tell me whatever it was, it was important. Oh and the mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? We're finished here. Okay. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like usual, I didn't understand anything any better than before. Man, Makoto, you really strike out with that chick. That's why he keeps thinking of the time that she was right up next to his head. No, you stop it. <laughs> no. 
Red target seems pretty far away. You gotta say, I'm pretty proud of my eyesight. Nice. Wait, did your eyes just zoom in? Oh my god, Makoto. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gotcha coin. Fucking telescope eyes. What do your twink eyes see? Gotcha coin. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you strike out with her. <laughs> <laughs> Even though this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here, and it's in full bloom. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant. She slow turns to you. <laughs> it's not my fault you don't have taste. Yeah. <laughs> I lived overseas for a long time. So this kind of Japanese style scenery is refreshing. Are we in Japan? Yes. Yeah, so she's it's refreshing to see that scenery. That yeah, that's what she was saying. She she lived overseas and now that she's uh here. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. But considering your situation, isn't it kinda out of place? You're kind of out of place. You wanna say that to my face, huh? It's a straw post, uh, it's a straw post used for sword practice. Do they use it for training here too? Nice! <laughs> More gotcha. The suit of armor is on display. It's extremely Japanese. Shit. Nice! All the coins are in this room. It's not- it's not the target practice, it's the gotcha practice. Yeah. It's literal gotcha practice, because you hit the thing, gotcha. <laughs> There's a bunch of- oh, ow. Hold on, hold on. Your eye again? You good? I'll be okay. There's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. The wooden lockers and keys remind me of super old public, uh, oh, super old school public bathhouses. Just took nice. four people. Welcome to the land of flowers, Makoto! Oh, of course, corpse flowers. Here. That room would stink with all those corpses. First, flowers. I thought I saw blue skies, but turns out they just painted the walls and the ceiling. <laughs> it's not, not even the sky, it's just <laughs> blue. Not even <laughs> like wall big monitors or anything to have it moving. It's just Monokuma spent some time with paint. It, it's a squid game room where they just paint the ceiling blue. Oh, but the plants are all real. It's been a while since I smoked vegetation. That's where you relax. With corpse flowers? That's not what you're thinking, is it? Uh-huh. Why? Is that bad? Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface. Beneath her calm exterior, they're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore, they'll put the they'll put their plan for global human extinction into action. Uh, I need to check when the happening came out. Can yeah, we I'm serious? <laughs> oh, do I think he's smelling a different kind of plant? If you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. It's your plants, Venus flytraps. This whole place just carnivorous plants. Yep. Well, Octelia probably... isn't carnivorous. It lures in the flies with a horrible stench to purge uh, reproduction. Uh, is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop chicken. doing here? I love Ow! chickens, Eddie. <gasps> this place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people, or they bombs instead of eggs, or something <laughs> crazy like that, right? Every time they bark, they shoot bees out of their mouth. <laughs> Chickens don't bark! Yeah, I, I, I wasn't gonna say. I think you said bark. 
No, I said bark for the Simpsons reference. Oh. It seems safe. Or the robots just disguise chickens for further surveillance. It's a chicken. If it flies, it spies. Birds it's aren't real. Really alive, right? There's no mistake. Keep clicking the coins. The chicken dies. It's a chicken. 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 Are you looking for a gotcha coin? It's not gonna. Chicken? It's not gonna change. Did you see that caption? Wait, did it say that? <laughs> they changed, yeah! It was yeah, like, the, the dialogue you... is a little different for each one. It's chicken. Like, click it fast. Like, click... Oh, no. <laughs> it's not gonna, like, lay a bomb, is it? It's a chicken. It's not expecting to be fed, like, humans, is it? It's a chicken. It really is, right? Like, I can say that for sure. It's a chicken. <laughs> it's really alive, right? There's no mistake. It's a chicken. It doesn't have, uh, like, a, a second form, right? It's an imposter. <laughs> Final form! Huh? <laughs> Damn it, homie. <laughs> oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Singular brain cell. Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them here. Exactly. Five. <laughs> you know, whenever it comes after four and before six, at least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number nine, yeah, just... whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains a mysterious of the cosmos. It's a number of power. A refreshing number on par of hand squeeze all natural lemonade. I remember why I didn't put probate there. Yeah, <laughs> unnatural numbers. Negative isn't natural. Oh, do you want me to save a line again? No. I actually have no I, idea. That's just a guess. I said I see why I don't normally put probate up top because the background music thing comes up and he's covered oh. by it. Oh. Ah. Wanna right. feel the beat, Cheru? <laughs> Vibrates aggressively <laughs> on, the, on the beatbox. No, it's just strapped to the back of his head. <laughs> I have achieved. I have achieved peak vibrational frequency. Vibrate his skull vibrations. <laughs> he never lets me get a word in edgewise. Ever, at all. What was the deal with the chickens, there, buddy? He's just weird. I just really like chickens, man. They can be really nice. Sometimes. I don't like but, chickens, Makoto. But you don't believe in the occult stuff, right? With all the, the, the cosmos and the number five, right? What? No, it's just fortune telling. No, if it was the occult, it'd be like the number or like, no, we don't have those. Yet. It, yet. <laughs> just oh. to be sure, I should take a look in that tool shed. But watch out for the number! The invisible one. This place seems totally disorganized. From a lawnmower, to fertilizer, to flower pots, to farm tools. And leaning against the back wall, is that a pickaxe? Oh, good. Uh, ooh, the pickaxe. We're arming the children. Again! Uh, hmm. There's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. It looks like a JoJo reference. It looks like a JoJo reference. Crazy. No, that was Mondo's biker it's gang Mondo's name. Mondo's biker gang. I mean, gang. that one's even more on the nose than the other one. Yeah. Oh, the kind of the pompadour. Crazy diamonds? I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Crazy, noisy, bizarre town. Our bags of fertilizer are piled up. There are Everybody so many. In bed, friend, mm -hmm. What? I heard dead friends. I didn't hear oh, anything. The fertilizer is made out of. Oh. Oh no. It's all of his friends in one place. 
fertilized with love. Plenty of love running off of those dead friends. <laughs> Bags of fertilizer are piled up. There's so many different kinds to choose from. Fertilizer runoff is a serious okay. problem, everybody. Both Make, sure you... Gotcha cord. Make sure you don't over-fertilize your lawns. Oh, I might have to get that checked out, actually. Okay. There are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? There's a lawnmower here. Even with this here, who's gonna actually take care of the lawn? Nice! Where did I find that? I don't want to imagine that Makoto, like, reached up into the blades. And it's just, like, sat there. <laughs> like, wedged. No, he shoved his, like, whole arm into it. So many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, any size you might need. I'm as big as your head. head. Don't give him a twist, stuff like a virus. That's what the showman said. Uh, maybe I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. I don't like how big that main one is. Still here? Still looking at chickens. Love what, clucker. this one? Yeah. Big chicken. I, I, I don't like how big it is. Oh, you've also seen the big one, huh? There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? It's for the spike the, 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 the sprinklers. <laughs> the sprinklers. Yeah. <laughs> it controls the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7:30. Don't you dare change it without permission. Of course, the settings panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. So that means the sprinklers are a plot point this chapter and go off at 7 a.m. every morning? Yep, you got it. It's super user friendly, which sucks because you can't use it because it's locked. So, if you get here too early, you'll get drenched. So watch yourself. But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyway. Or do you suck? Or do you have some kind of water fetish? Don't put that I'm on gonna me. tell that everyone! <laughs> Don't put that on me. Who knew that Makoto was into water sports? No! <laughs> well, he didn't wet the bed until he was held. Evil! Evil! I have now told it. every person in this good school. Yep, all Evil. six of them. Uh, what is this? This thing is super weird. Super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? What the hell? You, j you were just... Uh, huh? <laughs> That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. <laughs> Try and touch it. And you're in for some real excitement. Your your heart's all like, whoa, and the plants all like, snap, and your flesh is all like, bleh, I'm dead. Another. <laughs> in <laughs> other words, it's a monstrosity. It's pretty freaking amazing if I do say myself. A student at Hope Speak added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist. Although, they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It could eat paper, plastic, even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. Not that I'd know anything about that myself. 
<laughs> you want to repeat that last part again about the people and the thing? Nope, there he goes. He's in the floorboards again. Spouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I'd better keep my distance. I mean, nice. that is just part of the natural life cycle. That we I die, just... we rot and feed the plants. Put you my just... fucking yeah. hand in it, and I'm just we'll like, ooh, coin. Climb up and reach into the carnivorous plant to steal a coin. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha, coin. I I have to obtain gotcha. It is. His it twink is senses know that there are gotcha coins. Why does it say raw? Don't get open his butt. It's locked. We came all this way just to be denied here. The sign in the hall says Biolab. A Biolab that we're forbidden from seeing into. It's a war room. It kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. But once again, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall. And before too long, so I've gathered you all here today because I've decided to introduce you to this great new concept called cryptocurrency. It will make me even more rich. And as long as you guys invest in it, it'll make me even more rich. I don't call it a pyramid scheme. No, it's more of... <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit. Don't believe in that. Leave more birds. But still, it's just for six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Thank you. Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still field a basketball team. Mm -hmm. Reverse positive thinking. Who the fuck are you gonna play against? Three anyway, three. there's no time to be yeah. depressed. This is when me and Satan manifest the demons that have all secretly been in Kodo's head this entire time. Uh, is that why I can't sleep or do anything? Don't worry about more, it. There's more than two of you. Don't worry about it. Uh. Hmm? I thought I heard something. Uh, for the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? Ugh. We need to get out. Uh, we need to find out what everyone has discovered. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor. Well, no. Strange is a massive understatement. The smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What the hell are you talking about? The smell itself was horrific. Far beyond any normal murder scene, but everybody's smell concentrated together. God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. I mean, what the hell happened in that room? I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. A 
bunch of people were killed in there? Stop, seriously, I'm gonna throw up. Perhaps that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? You're thinking the same thing, then. My theory is the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room. That was the tragedy that happened a year ago? Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope Peak Academy. <laughs> if that's true, that would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. I mean, I guess it all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful. Super awfully awful. Uh, right. It's beyond awful. It's, a, it's terrible, tragic hopeless but still how is it not one of us ever heard about something like that happening does that mean they really did cover it up I checked all the windows on the fifth floor front to back that used to be there. That used to kind of be Sakura's job, but... Anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor, either. But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. REACTION! What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Why do you ask? Are you scolding me? Should I have noticed something? Because if you did, you must have noticed, right? The fifth floor is lacking something that every floor has. Extra stairwell. Something on all the other floors, but not the fifth floor. Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Vermilion, you're correct too. There is no bathrooms on that floor either. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? We're finally starting to get a clear picture of this school. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But that's the hardest part. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes. Fucking brain Makoto. Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor. I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know what you're going to say, but a tool shed. I think it's his new home. Reaction. Tarkov okay? Tarkov? Doing good, buddy? <gasps> there he is. There we go. Hello. I can yeah. hear you now. Yeah, you if know. you've been doing it, I have not heard it. 
My apologies, my system is having some issues. It's okay, I was just Not like, by fault. the second one, I was like, he hasn't done it yet. Something's up. <laughs> Try it now. Reaction. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yep, still it good. Still love it. <sighs> Monokuma said that was called a Monokuma flower. Yeah, I, I've, I've trademarked it and everything. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. It's totally a man eating plant! I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. A Mario reference. Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh, yeah. Apparently, the sprinklers come on every morning at 3. three 370 on the dot, Jesus brain. 730 Wait. on the dot. <laughs> I was like 370 on the dot? <laughs> I my I just let that one keep going to reset myself. Ah uh, yeah. 370, the invisible time. I know it well. <laughs> but yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched uh -oh. and catch a cold. <laughs> 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 Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know. Uh, uh, of course not, because idiots never get wet. What? Ooh, I, um, I think you're thinking of ducks. I'm starting to worry about you, girl. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? No! Wait, what? Do it again. What? What? Nine plus ten. Nine. It says ten plus ten. Can you tell me what nine plus ten is? Twenty-one. Yeah, jeez, the <laughs> reference, please. It was right there. I was like, oh. I have, I have no idea what you are talking about. You what? The twenty-one joke thing. Hold up, hold up. We're getting it. I'm it's getting, I'm getting it. That he, I'm he getting loves it. A lot. I'm getting it. I've already got it. You got it? All right. I've all right. got it. I don't know. That's pretty sus. Here's here. Here it is. All right. Let's see. We make this joke so much. Please. <laughs> it's five seconds. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> ah, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they think that, all right, that from one the top, ended from with the a top. slap like, like you slapped him? Like, You're stupid. He probably did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to worry about reason. you, hero. Can you tell me what? Can you tell me what <laughs> nine plus ten is? <laughs> hey, come on! You don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. I'm pretty sure it does. But if it'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. So, uh. Uh, <laughs> uh, what, was the, what was the question again? Don't worry, he just answered it. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. Ooh. Woo! Oh no. I enjoy her, even though she's she was a dumbass apparently during the last trial. She's like a dumbass every trial. She, yeah. but she's passionate yeah. and friendly. So she's she's, she's sweet and she tries. Yeah. Hey, Miyaki. Yeah. Uh. It seems like Toko wants to say something. <sighs> so, why are you telling me? Because you told her to zip it or whatever. Ah, I guess I'd forgotten about that. Jesus, man! I know you like torture her, but come on! Well... Toko, if you want to envelop us all with your putrid breath, I won't stop you. You honor me, master. Uh, d don't worry, I took care of the odor problem. <laughs> 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 uh, 
seriously? You're just gonna take it? This is what I meant by horny. Sh shut up! And don't interrupt Master and me are talking! Okay, so what did you want to tell us? Well, I was in a classroom on the fifth floor, and something caught my attention. Don't. Oh. It was th this. Oh. <laughs> I knife! I organically get a knife! No! Yes! yes! Toko, what do you have there? A, a knife! knife! No! No! <laughs> no! Give that back! Yes! No! <laughs> Whoa! That thing is huge. It's like Rambo sized. <laughs> That's what Yakuya said last night. Now, this is a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Not a knife, a, a spoon! I am a spoon in the village. No, a spoon, I'm a knife. I see you've played knife and spoon before. <laughs> it's a. Uh, I'm the knife. Some type. Yeah. We'll try that again. It's a survival knife of some type. Thank you. But what was it doing in a classroom? Learning algebra. How would I know? <laughs> Just because I'm the killer, I wasn't there. What are you going to use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? I'm not going to do anything. I just picked it up. I didn't want to leave a knife just laying around. I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer! Bless. Bless. Bless you. Don't compare me to her! I'm nothing like her! Listen, more important. Now that we have the knife, what are we going to do with it? Can't let Togo keep it, that's for sure. I don't know what she might do. I don't want it anyway. It's too dangerous. Mm. Asshole. So what to do? Why don't you hang? Yeah, why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? <laughs> why am I the one being given the knife? I already have a gun. You're all trying to pin this on me. Just because he's the <laughs> bottom? Gosh. Me? Yes. By all standards, he's the least likely to commit murders because he's such a baby. I... Little baby man. <laughs> I baby hate man. Oh, yeah! Both. I totally trust McCutter to take care of it. Right? What? He is the proper choice. Absolutely! No. 100%. No. Little By baby man with a little baby knife, he can't even it. pick it up. Perfect. By any means. Baby and that's man. that. <laughs> This is about to go horribly wrong, and I am crying internally. Oh, oh, hold on. Don't I get a say? No. It just shows how much they trust you, little baby man. You should do as they say. <laughs> Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. Okay, so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. To take good care of us. Fine. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Hey, Toko. Ah, do I do I still have bad breath? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry it stinks. I'm sorry it stinks. I'm sorry. You made a valuable discovery today. Ooh. Good, good job. Master just praise me? 
Hey, good for you. Why is he not on this now? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm dreaming. I must be, be dreaming. Uh, that I would ever experience such dream. Uh, <laughs> I feel strange. <laughs> Dave, alive, Pog. I'm too. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of horny. <laughs> so strange. R really strange. Oh no. <laughs> so who didn't want the game to still be horny? <laughs> bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. Whenever I look at Togo these days, it makes me feel sad. Just think. Makoto, one day you can do that to Kyoko. No. I think it'd be the other way around. No. No, Kyoko's gonna do that to him. Not yeah, no. Like yep. Yep. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the like, only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. What? I don't like that you were nodding along with that. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. If this were like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature. Final boss or tyrant. They did not just say the actual word tyrant with a T. Yes, they did. We're not in a horror game, though. Hmm. Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. No, how I said it is right too. <laughs> Disgust me. <laughs> Oh, uh... No, I know what we did. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is... The scene's done. <laughs> there were a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? That's right! Hey, five chickens! I love chickens. Let's raise them up big and fat. I knew it! Then we, then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or barbecue. Decisions, decisions. Oh, oh! Or how about raw? Ugh! Nothing's... Oh, <laughs> nothing fresher than raw, raw right? Oh my god, you, Hina, You can't no. make sashimi out of chicken, Hina. Hina the fuck! <laughs> uh, Hina's just like, kill the chicken and I'll eat it right there. And how about mm. we just... Bite the head off. No. Hina. <laughs> uh, pretty sure that'd kill you. And then we were all glad Taku wasn't around anymore to hear that. Yeah. Him just yelling at Hina for like 20 minutes. Let's be real, it'd be a couple hours. And her just bundled up in the fetal position. Is Arkoff still of it. dead? Oh. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I am going to strangle something. Why is it doing that? I had trouble even getting it started earlier. Hmm. Mm. So we're getting you a new PC, it sounds like. No. Yep. Yep. Have you diagnosed the issue yet? <laughs> what? <laughs> is that well, not coming through? It's, it's so quiet. quiet. Yeah, very like You're quiet. grumbling. Yeah, mm -hmm. like. Rah, rah, rah. What the hell is up with my system? That was normal volume. Huh. <laughs> yep, we're getting you a new one. We're at no. the very least gonna get you the money to get a diagnostic. Yeah. Accept the kindness. 
And also the part no. if it's like a part messed up or something. I still never heard you. I said, did you get it diagnosed? And then you never said anything. I haven't figured out what's wrong with it yet. To get it started earlier, I had to run a system restore and I reseated everything in the motherboard. Graphics card, everything in the PCI slots, everything. Hmm, might be and it's still having issues. I think it's your CPU. Ugh. That... Too much about how yeah, the heart and soul of a system. Yeah, now. especially because it's now fucking with your sound. Mm -hmm. It very well could be. Again, I would recommend getting it diagnosed at like a mom and pop computer shop. Hmm. There's nothing of that sort in my area. I believe that All too. All we have is Geek Squad. <laughs> yep. Ooh, Geek Squad. They're no good. Uh, I brought uh -uh. a computer to them once, like way, 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 way back in the day, and literally the answer was I needed a new GPU. And they couldn't tell me that. <laughs> the only thing Geek Squad does, and it's... I've seen them do it, they put a disc in the computer to uh, see what's wrong with it. I know. If they can't run the disc, they say, nothing we can do. Yep. Yeah. They, used, they used to be better, but they've just, it's degraded. In this day and age where most PCs don't have drives anymore? I mean, They considering... install like an app or something now. They I'm probably kind of... use USB dongles. Yeah. Considering that I worked, I, I ran the tech desk out of Staples. There's, it, it's USB dongles and it runs proprietary stuff to do things that other free programs can do, but we get to charge money for it because people don't know how to use these things. Yep. Which is why you recommended a mom and pop type shop because they'll try. Sometimes. It also was what can got me in trouble at the... the staples because I was actually trying. It's it's a whole mess. Mm -hmm. We'll get it fixed, buddy. You yeah. weren't following the script, Midnight. That's why they were mad. Yeah, I know, because I'm a good person. You How notice dare. it too, huh? That pickaxe. Ah. Huh? What was that about a pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed. And the words Crazy Diamond had been carved into the handle. And haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Crazy Diamond. Hmm. Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. I don't just think I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Therefore, Kyoko is. <laughs> huh? Where? <laughs> ah, that's it. I remember. <laughs> Fuck, that was my life! <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's gone now. It's gone now. I was just proud that I got somebody I'm the, to love. I'm the smart one. Look, I, I started to read yours at one point, and I caught myself at least. Uh, I was just happy that I got somebody to laugh with that one. <laughs> That's my line. I'll oh. kill you. <laughs> it was on Mondo's uniform, on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. Hmm. You're absolutely right. More praise? But why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Mondo must have snuck in there and done it, right? Well, maybe he just wanted to pick a fight with someone. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. <laughs> then maybe Mondo b brought it with him when he first came here. Monokuma confiscated it? A whole um, ass pickaxe. Whatever the reason, that. that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The, the pickaxe connected to Mondo. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Because you're weird. Mm-hmm. Then Ouch. what did? You know, that hurts. <laughs> then stop <laughs> acting like it sometimes. Just, just 
stop being weird about the five chickens. It was weird today. There are five of them. More than four, less than six. Five. Power number. Say it with me. Five. No. <laughs> this is what I mean. Say it. They're just chickens. Say the word. Just chickens. <laughs> All right, we'll come back to it. Put a pen in it. What I noticed was a lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. How are you going to call for help with a lawnmower? I don't know. Maybe I can use it to make crop circles or something. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to make crop circles. We can use those to call for help. What the heck's happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know? I know, what a weird and wacky road we walk. Well, back then, my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. <laughs> I, didn't think it, <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. I don't, I don't like Ouch. the way he said that statement. I'm the serial killer and damn. That shit was <laughs> savage. Ow. Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. So, now what do we do? Well, starting today, you're all under my command. But, before we proceed, I need to figure something out. Please, how cocky can you be? I mean, you're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Oh yeah. So, what is it you want to figure out? Kyoko's identity. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh huh. He's moving on yet, girl, Makoto. Hmm. Kyoko's identity. But Kyoko is Kyoko, right? Yeah, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro. Hiro's the ultimate something clairvoyant was. Even Makoto's the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days, but... You know. So, what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Now that you mention it, she's never told us. Oh... Well... Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? <laughs> like, I'm not in this room. <laughs> right? <laughs> She's just on the other end of the table, just looking at the conversation happen. <laughs> it's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. And why so the fuck Kyoko. are you running your mouth, Byakuya? You're <laughs> just raising unnecessary suspicion. Yup. So, Kyoko, it's time you told us. Hmm. I can't. <laughs> what? Why won't you tell us? I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What do you mean? Because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory? You mean... Amnesia? I'm surprised you even knew that word. If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, 
I'm not laughing. You, you can't be serious right now, can you? I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. Oh, you cut out for a second there. I At cut out. Me. No, 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 so you have no intention of telling us. Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. What are you going to do? Torture me? And she smugly you smiles you? at you? What are you going to do? Cross. What are you going to do, huh, little baby? Little baby man? <laughs> hey, go get your own man. Nothing so ugh, barbaric as that. I will simply... Limit your option. I cannot allow you to engage any further. <clears throat> I can't allow you to engage in any unnecessary further suspicious activity. Limit my options. Give me the key to your room. What? But if she gives you her room key. She can't go to sleep in her room. Or she'll be breaking a school regulation. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. A threat like that. Fine. I understand. Good. You're finally in the mood for conversation. You're one to talk. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Byakuya and held out her room key to him. No! You damn fool. Why do you refuse to talk? Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. Maybe she really did lose her memory. If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever, where only the worst stuff happens, right? It means you would fit right in. <laughs> the worst school? Where only the worst things happen? Do you really mean that? Huh? Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What, what do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. Kyoko then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk away. Where do you think you're going? Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything that will harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. Now the dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. What's your deal? I think he went to Kadet, her to room the cavalry. Like I can't believe she caught a mild case of everyone else's stupid. Such a shame. No one lasts forever, I guess. Busa, thanks for the 27 months. F for her, that was far enough. Or m maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her enjoying getting yelled at. Mm. You're getting noisy again, Toko. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of you breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on me. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but... <laughs> but what's Kyoko Ew. gonna do now? Makoto, uh, entirely uh, avoiding the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, plus... The situation... 
It's just like before. It's no different from when everyone started accusing Sakura. And I... I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. Except with this knife I have. And this knife I have and this gun I found. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! what, what the hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Cause, cause look. Huh? Mm. buddy. It, it's you. How are you even standing there? I'm very. Very angry. Angry at what? At the thief! Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to have tell you there's a thief in your midst. What? My precious! They stole it. You're precious. Your teacher had such faith in you, and this is how you repay me? With betrayal? Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. But what the heck is your precious? Shut up! I hope all of you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die penniless on the street. Oh boy. Bet it's the knife. That bastard. And he's gone. How dare he wish the that. The heck was that all about? He said something about his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? It likely has something to do with Kyoko. Huh? <laughs> Who else other than her would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Congrats, and you've gone and pissed her off. <laughs> Wonderful. Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? Ding dong bing. Yay! Aww. 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 Well... <laughs> We got three of the four. Start good. Ahem. This is a school <laughs> announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors of the dining hall will be locked. Entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Just fuck you all. Good night. <laughs> you didn't even tell us what it was. Die we can't help sleep. you. Uh-oh. We need to get out of here. We can talk about this more tomorrow. And about Kyoko. However, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's... something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms. Don't go wandering around. Not like we need you to tell us that. Well then, let's disperse. Regrettably, I'll see you all tomorrow. Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Ah, that's right. I need to put away that knife I got from Toko. You're welcome. No. I think the safest place for it will be in my desk drawer. <gasps> think of me when you look uh, at it. But anyway, is Kyoko really going to be okay? She can't get into her room. What's she going to do? Isn't there something I can do? Something I can... Sleep takes him. I fucking pass out standing up. Like a cow. Ding dong. 
Yay! Yay! Uh -huh. oh I, uh, as I opened my eyes, I realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. Standing up like a horse. But more important. And a cow. Did I hear the doorbell? Again? Kyoko? I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See Ooh. you there. It's 4 a.m. <laughs> it's... You know what that means? <laughs> it's literally 4 a.m. Kyoko, wait! <laughs> Kyoko! It's Without a booty call, baby! You gotta go and take it! Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but... I can't just not go. I might get laid. <laughs> Shut up, other voice in the back of my brain. <laughs> Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. I know it's 4 a.m. to the cavalry. <laughs> for like it's 4 the third night in a row or something. Time for your yeah, it's, it, it's fine. I'm used to it. It's time for the nightly dick flattening. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> well then, <clears throat> uh, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? It's only the thank you for the 20. Months. So does that mean... Does this have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Uh, Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Hmm. That's right. So I was right. But what did you steal? I stole this. Oh! <laughs> oh! The monarchy. A key? Monokima. <laughs> but looking at it, I could see it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get this? Hmm. From the headmaster's room. What? <laughs> you stuck into the headmaster's room. But wasn't it locked? Mm, the lock was broken. What? It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Remember what she said in her note? I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. So, Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us. That's right. So that we could uncover whatever secrets may lie hidden there. Or hidden within. She did that... for us. She violated school regulations to help us. She'd already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. And you thought I was a sussy baka. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why... I used you as a decoy. So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order to... Correct. I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then, what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Again? <laughs> Not again! Makuro uh, Ikusaba, the 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Did you find out about this Mukuro Ikusaba while you were in there? 
I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Murkro is Ikusaba is dangerous. Dangerous? She may very well be the mastermind. B mastermind? But didn't Ultra Ego say that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? No. The headmaster isn't the headmaster, or the mastermind. I'm sure of that. The headmaster isn't the headmaster. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Fuck that bear. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt that I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mukuro Ikusaba really could be the mastermind? Anyway, this key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, oh, what's this key even unlock? I don't know yet, which is why... I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go out and find... it out? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't. That's way too dangerous. And you want me to draw his attention, but we don't know actually... We, but we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching us... But why? Uh, but they didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. <laughs> or maybe the Mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, then what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. <laughs> As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. If it's true that the Mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have to be a period of time where the Mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure that if that's actually true, and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but... No matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. When I think what might happen if we fail... I don't think you need to worry all that much. After all... With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery. Am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules, as far as I can tell. But if the Mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us all without a second thought. I see. In that case, if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. What? In a moment of crisis, will the Mastermind break their own rules, or adhere to them no matter what? In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason not to do it, right? But... but... If you spend all of your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger. But if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized. I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us. And with that in view, she just smiled. I can't change how I feel. And I wouldn't if I could. 
Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Hmm? What's this? Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it... Well, if something ever happens to me. If... If something happens? I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it. And a death without meaning is... unappealing. Please. I want you to hold on to it for me. Just like the knife. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of stuff I'm carrying around right now, isn't it? It... it fine. I'll hold on to it. Just because you asked me to. But I'm gonna give it back at some point. You can be sure of that. Yes, of course. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance the Mastermind will find out, right? Well, there's that too. Huh? You mean there's something else? It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I... I can't just forget that easily. Okay then. Shall we begin? I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time... ...was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything's gonna be fine. I know it. Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety. Why don't you ever talk to us about your problem, Makoto? Then I got to work, because you guys only ever make it worse for me, apparently. That is very hurtful. Okay, but am I wrong, given the track record? Yes. How I so? Feel like we, I feel like we provide plenty of helpful advice. We have never physically harmed you, nor your friends. Why would they bully Makoto? <laughs> yeah, but you know that... Mental assault is sometimes just as bad, if not worse, correct? Compared to what you are dealing with in this academy, you have a training wheels. Yes, but that is also compounded on top of what I'm dealing with. They are not two separate things, they are the same thing at the same time. To think you're doing it to yourself. How am I doing it to myself? I didn't wish for this. Are we even really here, though, Makoto? Or are we just figments of your imagination that you created in order to like, project your problems on an external force? Don't make me get more existential when I think my friend's about to die in, like, two seconds. Please don't. Just how hard did Mondo hit you, really? I'm pretty sure I'm okay given that, but... You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I you was were out, out for hours. I That's was a out of brain damage for several hours. And the brain damage. And the brain damage. And the brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> Just some food for thought, Makoto. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's do this. Speaking of food for thought, you're out of mustard. What? How? Brain mustard? What? Thought mustard? <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out here. I got a bone to pick with you. And a few moments later. Whoa, whoa, this is a surprise. You being the one to call me out? Nah, nah. Hey, by the way. Huh? What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Oh, <laughs> just the two of you? In the 
middle of the night? I mean, it's 4 a.m. for heaven's sake. Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't Incorrect. you say? Dankin' sex, dankin' sex, dankin' sex, dankin' sex. It's 30 right now. <laughs> say the line, Cheru. Say the line, Cheru. <laughs> oh, it's not the line. It's what probate said. I was just like, <laughs> dankin' sex, dankin' sex. <laughs> I, so, just said, I, said, I just said it was 4.30. I know. <laughs> Overriding my time. I don't like that. Anyway, <laughs> so warm and wet. So wet and warm. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> I bet you guys removed to, to confirm with local and international censorship laws all over her, didn't you? What the fuck did you just say to me? How did you make that noise with your face? How did you make that noise? I'm more scared than I was before. I'm. What was that? It's phantom dog. It's clear that the real murder weapon was up dog. What I just said no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Blackfoot Ferret thinks of the 420. I'm helping. <laughs> um, not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. I'm like you. I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. I don't believe you. Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation, far away from X rated exploits. Oh. So is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the blends got all fogged up and you couldn't see anything anyway? Uh, Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. Anyway, you went to all the trouble to get me out here. Now what do you want? Oh, uh, well, um... There's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude fella? But in the Bear Kingdom, there is no male or female. Um, actually there is. Seriously? <laughs> what am I? My entire existence? Ah, uh, that's enough. I'll get stuck if I think of about it too much. So what do you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? At 4 a.m. in the morning? 4.30. Uh, no, no getting sleep you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be a hundred megaton freaking kidding me. <laughs> You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or ursarine breeding tips? Is that bear? I don't need all the, the, the bear information that you think I do. This is just crazy. <laughs> Are all pre prepubescent teen boys as, as naughty as you? Fair necessities. God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a K and. <laughs> if I had my sensor board turned mm. on, boy. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. How did you make that noise? The that Go seems... XLR has a sensor a robot. built in. I yeah. don't have an outlet to plug it in. I have to figure something out. <laughs> Get a bigger power supply. Ah! More, more power strip space. What was that second thing? Yo. It's a blank, stupid. A secret. Fill it in for yourself. Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. 
And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out! Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. You little fucking fucking or fuck fuck cunt garbage piece of shit <laughs> trash <laughs> fucker. The aristocrats, boy. I I was just trying to be helpful and figure out what it was that was taken from you. I guess I'm sorry. Whew. I hope I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine. Right? Totally. I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Monokuma's Theater brought to you by Spike Chunsloff Company, LTD. Oh, what in the goddamn? Maces. Oh, monster Hunter. Dynasty Warriors. Russo Rampa. <laughs> I, mean, I so badly want another Gundam Musa. Same. Yeah. You'll get Fire Emblem and you'll like it. Uh, Arkoff, do me the honors. Sakura's Revenge. The game the world has been oh. waiting. <laughs> oh. Damn it, well, game. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't click anything, it just disappeared, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People can pause the VOD. Anyway, it's cancelled. Anyway, <laughs> the super stylish, super fashionable game was cancelled during development? But we'll start up back up again if Dangaropa sells well? Well then, you guys have to recommend it to your friends too. <laughs> That's it! It was an advertisement in the game! That's it! For a game that doesn't Bingo. actually exist! Bing bong! Time to wake up, Makoto! Bing bong! Good morning, everyone, except Makoto. It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Except Makoto. Ooh. But what did I do? You woke me up at 4 a.m. I thought you were, awake. you were awake all the time. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I'm sorry. My body feels so heavy this morning. Uh -huh. And there we'll call a break. Uh, we'll okay. do a five minute break. So go get your snacks, go get your drinks, go bathroom break. I'm right. going to restart my system Water. just in case. Go for it. Not a bad idea. So how you doing today, chat? Better. Nice, nice, nice. Doing good? Nice. Good. Can't hear nice, nice, nice without immediately thinking hamburger country. What is that? Like, I think it was like some VTuber crossover where someone mentioned America and then the Japanese YouTuber was like, oh, nice, 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 hamburger country. <laughs> or was it hamburger country, nice, 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 regardless. It was just kind of a bit of a meme -y moment. 
Alright, we'll be right back. Yeah.
Welcome back, Arkal. Thank you. Coming in nice and clear. For now, at least. Yeah. Hmm. I'm still here. I just <laughs> been quiet. Oh, uh, I'm here. Hey, back. Striker cast uh, guidance on Arkoth. You're a good egg, he says. <laughs> if you're here, I don't even know if you're here. Yeah, he was there. Unless it's. Yep, there it nope, goes. There he is. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> oh, uh oh. We're doomed for Thursday. Oh no. I hope this is. <laughs> Been working on it all week. How old is the again? Not even that old. It's three, four years at most. Even that. Mm. That is a little <laughs> odd. Must be because I was up late, uh, so late last night. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. Sure, Kyoko. Who did even sleep last night? Nope. As long as she doesn't go to sleep. Mal to read this line. <laughs> hmm? I said, I want you to read this line. <laughs> Is it because of the fucking watch thing again? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. What watch? Channel what? your inner Taka. <laughs> You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold there, hold there, Ryaki. You sound like somebody entirely different. You good? Emil, he's gonna ask you to clean his room next. <laughs> it's sorry, I'm not feeling so right today. You really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Hmm? Are you allowed to talk again? <laughs> I don't recall giving you permission. You did yesterday. And then I rescinded it. Huh? I just thought. I mean, since it's days past, well, it would maybe reset. To the cavalry. 
Well, thanks for getting a tier one sub to Gwen. Hooray. Also, hi, Gwen. Hey, Gwen. Hi, Gwen. Gwen. The real baby of the group. Sorry. Please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a sign on my neck that says bad girl. I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. Oh, no. 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 Don't do that. Ugh, if you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. Thank you, Biakia. Jesus. Jeez. Thank you. I won't make any more d disgusting comments. I promise. Hmm. If I do, you oh can my God. stuff my mouth full of trash. Before we get into my this business. As long as it's you and no one else, I don't mind. It's no use. Fuck? She's disgusting to the bone. Remember, Dom, you gotta make sure you establish all the rules with your subs before going out for the day. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Not cool! This is worse than being late for lunch, for date, for your wedding, for anything! Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday, and she's not gonna show up anymore. Mm. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. Best thing to do right now is just to keep quiet. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what it is, uh, what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... Oh yeah! You still have her key, right? Huh. Are you looking for Miss Kigger? <laughs> Kiggery? <laughs> what do you want now? I always called her Kigurumi. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought it was gonna be, and I was just imagining yeah. her, her walking Kigurumi. around with a pink Kigurumi. <laughs> I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kiggery is, right? Do you know where she is? Hmm. Well, it's hard to say. Huh? You don't know either? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here, to try and prod us for information. Hey! Don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is, and they name some indie bullcrap? Punk. Fuck, I forgot I was muted. <laughs> it got me. I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changes his subjects like that. Thank goodness. It looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Which could mean... Maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Could she have been right about that? So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Kigiri. Any idea where she might have gone? We have no idea. And even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. Welcome, Cadet, to the company. Skeleton Jake, thanks for resubbing for 11 whole months. Hmm. I say. Well, fine. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers. As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Yeah, well, it would seem that way. Where the heck is she a god? Don't you think we should all go look for her? And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. 
Yeah. How can he not know where she is? So strange. I mean, there's one place she can't be. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice. Where could it be? We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. Woo! <laughs> Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Oh boy, free time! So who are we spending Ooh. our time with? The gotcha, gotcha machine. machine. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, gotcha oh, boy, I gotcha. told you agreed, I, I love that you all said that, alright. <laughs> I have given him more of a character. He is a gotcha fanatic. Coin, 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 coin. And if it comes to who we're talking to, uh, my vote's actually for Toko, because we've already spoken to her a couple times, and you said we need five times to get a skill? Uh, it's not always five. It varies. Oh, okay. And again, some have multiple skills to give. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Arkoff, if you're saying it, it's not coming through. I mean, we got a lot. All right, baby, let's go. So how's everybody doing? Doing all right. Yep. Doing all right. Time for good. gotcha stuff. Doing just fine. I lied. I'm dying inside. Maybe I no. should have taken the break here. No, I just, just remembered that meme. This. I actually love that. Hey, a new one. Yeah, it's at 86 now. Oh, I'm covering the rate. Oh, oh, sweet blueberry juice. juice. Drink. Middle, don't worry. I actually really like that meme. It gives me the dopamine because I was happy the first time I heard that one. It's, it's like, a very it's good sweet. meme. It is. I'm reading this new light novel and it's really good. Got you should read it. Bomb. What's it called? Bomb. It's called That Time I Got Sent to Another World Where All of the Girls Are Super Hot and Super Into Me Because I Am Super Strong and Have Very Powerful Abilities That I God Gave to Me Because that Me and Them Were Friends people. When I Was In Grade School And God Is he Actually really Alone. Is he really used a weed cat or is he just a plant cat that everyone's like making weed? Yeah, his Pokemon type is the grass cat. Their face looks like an evil weed 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 cat. Their face looks like an Actually, the most strongest guy alive because like I have emo. super strong powers <laughs> like emo. being able to uh, lift emoji. your mom really easily, which is nearly it's impossible because your mom is so fat. But is actually He's a secret like anime busty babe things. who is really into me because I am super cool and better than your dad because he is super lame, which I am not. No little turban child. What's the story about? The What's the story cave? about? <laughs> Tom, thanks for the four thousand bits. The lure is so long. It startled me actually because I was like. It has the girl talking, and she sounds like Terror Strong or something, and I'm like, what? Long set. Oh. <laughs> My name, name is Mr. Blinky. Blinky. I'm imaginary friend. I'm I know you can't, can't see me, me. not, not even, even my rear end. end. But I'll, I'll be, be watching over, over you, morning, noon, and night. I'm in Las, Las Vegas, heavyweight, heavyweight championship fight. So wash your ears and scrub your toes, cause no one likes the stinky. Especially not your secret friend, dear old Mr. Blinky. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Aggie, thanks for the 2,000 bits. Was that tripping acid? Jeez. <laughs> Oh, I enjoyed hearing you, like, hearing you say it. My that name was, is Mr. Blinky. I'm your imaginary just friend. <laughs> I know that you can't see me, not even my rear end, but I'll be watching over you morning, noon, and night, unless I'm in Las Vegas winning the heavyweight championship fight. So wash your ears and scrub your toes, because no one likes a stinky, especially not your secret friend, dear old Mr. Blinky. <laughs> Where did you find that? That sounds like a Shell Silverstein poem. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I found it because 
It's one of the few things in life that I have memorized for some weird godforsaken reason. Sure. And I was I brought it up in call like a couple nights ago, and Luke went and graciously found it for me. And it it's... took like an hour. <laughs> It's from, uh, what was it? Cartoon something? Cartoon Planet. Cartoon Planet in like the 90s. <laughs> uh, and so Jesus. I was like, you... holy shit. I haven't seen this since I was like four. And I was so like ecstatic. And then someone mentioned I should turn it into a bit alert. And I said, oh, that's a good idea. So I went and did that. That was, uh, that was Aggie. Was that Aggie? Thanks, Aggie. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> I feel that. I, I'm so happy you remember something so vividly like that. It, yeah. Because I remember something too, but not like, but not that. But it just is like, Someone else has experienced this? Oh, fuck. Thank God. I, yeah, it's just one of those things. I mean, I know the reason why I haven't memorized, but it's still, like, weird that I haven't memorized. Yeah. I don't remember anything else from the show. Just that one little thing. <laughs> the brain is weird like that. Hmm. I remember... You guys remember uh, Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good movie. I remember Tim Curry's, uh, just in kit, the, the summoning the witch. Yeah. Perfectly. Yeah. I don't know why. What is it? And I can see it too. No, no. Why not? I want to hear it. Because she's afraid she might summon something. Say it, you can We already have <laughs> seen. Do any kind of justice. <laughs> Curry. So what? Say it, you can I didn't do any justice you to. You have me. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. <laughs> I, I just you? well the best thing that could happen though would be I just send you the the thing for it and we can hear our we can hear our crop do it. No, I want to hear you do it. <laughs> oh, we got something new. I guess it was the glasses. Good. I too wish to hear you do it, punk. No. Yes. If you good. don't, I'm gonna burst into a random '80s cartoon theme. Oh, good. Ooh, we have plenty um, of time. We're still in the '90s. Yep. You have an amazing voice, Bunk. You do. I would like to hear it. <gasps> what? I hope you know I'm just like staring at my, at my mic, like at my <laughs> monitor, just with the most fucking befuddled. What? You do. Mm -hmm. You have been absolutely splendid with every character you've played in Danganronpa thus far. I genuinely did not know you were a voice actor. I... I'm not. Yeah, but she could be. Exactly. What? Yeah, we don't have chant anymore. I'd be like, let's go, punk, let's go. Let's go, We don't punk. have chance Let's for go. some reason, I don't know. They got rid of it because Twitch is a butt. We got rid of the thing that no one was complaining about. They were clearly silent in their complaints. Right. Yeah, they were like, oh, no problem. It, it can't, like, everyone, we had such negative feedback on it. And I was like, from who? From who? From who? I who guess was just... abusing it? Like, just set it so mods and, you, like, the streamer do it only. Maybe it was only people who had shitty communities because you have a great one. Well, that like sounds a like a really great one. Yeah. Even if they don't like, uh, uh, well, I mean, like it's not like random people could do it, right? It was like, oh, people that you trust could do it. <sighs> people that were yeah. important and or held power. But that's new. If, if you didn't like chance, then you clearly needed better mods. Wow, Makoto, you're really good at this whole gacha thing. I have many attempts on my favor. That's new too. Right. <laughs> you can't see it because I'm in the fucking way. 89.38. 89. Yeah, I know. Let me shrink. I'm down here now. <laughs> yeah, just sit really deep in your chair. Oh, no. Uh oh. Hi. 
I'm okay. in the background. Oh. Wait, no. I'm in the gotcha machine. <laughs> Hi. She is the gotcha machine. Hey, no. how are you? Hi. I'm a toad gotcha. with a dragon in the machine. It is. How are you? <laughs> You're having way too much fun with that. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of trippy. It's like I'm in a pool. <laughs> but the pool is a gotcha pond. Yeah. <laughs> Come out of the pool. It's the smallest I can be, apparently, in this program. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Antique radio! Yeah! Yeah! We'll never need all these oh. items, let's see. Yeah, how much does it take just for the 100%? I just think they're neat. The rest of our coins? The rest of our coins? Yeah. Should we just do it? 83 yeah. coins, guaranteed yeah. full. Yeah, why not? Yeah, just, yeah, just shut the whole thing. We're gonna break 90% on... Um... Yeah. What the hell is that, cream? Lucky, lucky, lucky! Um, I'm so it might have been boot polish. It, it, I'm so <laughs> good. <laughs> what the fuck happened? I'm so know. good. Maybe it was a special because there it was on a no chance. Oh! Oh, you what? broke it. Double it was yeah. another new item. No. The stand arrow. No. no. We, got got that one. we got two new items, though. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty it's sick. Worth it. <laughs> Let me make myself bigger again. Ah, better. Okay. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. All right. I got your speed run. <laughs> So we have Yakia Toko. We have Hina. Yeah. And Yasuhiro, I think, is our choices. That's so all we have. Know what Kyoko is? No, we don't know where Kyoko, Kyoko is. Kyoko is MIA. Yep. Huh. So who do we want? Hmm. I'd say Toko. My vote is actually still with Toko. Two for Toko. Any others? Sure. Yeah, sure. Go for Toko. But it's not that I'm picking on you, Punk, as much as I'm just playing uh, the statistic of I believe we'll get at least a skill for later that could help us. Ah. I know I could be wrong, but that's my reasoning. Yeah. I kind of just wanted to hear Gus Hero would be a dummy <laughs> some more. Because <laughs> he says some things that are smart, and then he just says the dumbest fucking shit. <laughs> We haven't gotten his skill. We've talked to him a bunch, too. That is true. We gave him a whole bunch of stuff, too, didn't we? Yeah. Game. You're holding out on us, motherfucker. When are we ever gonna get out of here? N not that I have much to look forward to if I did get out. Uh, should I hang out with Togo for a while? Are you sure? What m more pity? Aren't you such a good good person, showing me all this pity? I spent some time with Toko. Toko and I grew a little closer today. Yeah. What is she like? Better glasses. Oh, I see. Time to pull up the chart. Yeah. She wants uh, everlasting bracelets, glasses, rose in vitro, cherry blossom bouquet, antique doll, maiden's handbag, or novelist fountain pen. Wow. We got the glasses. You did get the glasses. Thank you. 
sorry, but I'm already engaged to Master. No, you're not! No, I can't go on a date with you. We'll see about that. If you're okay with that, I, I don't mind if you think about me. Just take her off my hands! Say the line, Makoto. Seeing Toko so pleased with something <laughs> I gave her makes me happy. She's just standing there. Does she want some? Does she want something? But she's not saying anything. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Um, Toko. What? You wanted to talk to me? Well, I can't stop you. It's a talk already. Okay, sure. But what should I say? So, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? Why do you want to know? Well, I mean, you know. We're trapped here together, right? If we're gonna be friends, it'd be nice to get to know each other. Huh? What'd you just say? Um... After that part about, about being trapped, we're Done gonna Done now, be... Makoto. What? Um... Friends? Take her, she's yours, I'm out! <laughs> this is noise! <laughs> what do you mean, friends? You think I'm stupid? You're trying to trick me. I've already been hurt once before. I'm not gonna let it happen again. You've been a hurt? But oh, what happened? Come on. You don't really care about me. You don't want to know about me. Even I know that. Uh, no, that's not true. Fine. Then t t tell me. Tell you what? You know why they call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Yeah, sure. You write all kinds of liter- You write all kinds of literature prizes. Yes, Brain, thank you. You've won all kinds of literature prizes and stuff. Then tell me what I'm good at. Tell me why- Oh my god, it actually says what? Oh, no. Brain, please. <laughs> Tell me what my genre special specialty is. Romance. If you really want to convince me you give a crap, you should at least know that. The genre the ultimate writing prodigy specializes in... Ain't nothing but a heartbreak. I actually don't remember. It is romance. It is, yeah. is it romance? Yeah. Yeah. Make sure it's romance. Yes. It's romance, of course. Oh. You actually knew. Your biz your biggest success was So Lingers the Ocean, right? Everyone says it's your masterpiece. And the book was such a hit that fishermen shot to the top of the hottest men poles, right? <laughs> How did you know all that? There's no way you care about me. <laughs> I'm telling you I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? I'm blind! 
your straightforward nature blinded me. Yeah. <laughs> Toko ran off screaming like a banshee. Oh, thank God, Makoto. You have no idea how long I've been trying to get her to leave. I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? Quite the opposite. Toko's report card has been updated based on your... No! Oh, he died halfway through the sentence. <laughs> wow. I thought he was pausing to do an experience with her. On your experience with her. Mm, yeah. I guess your experience. Ooh, no! no. Google's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. I'm sorry, our mom. <laughs> you just unlocked a skill vocabulary. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Woo. Huh? Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Your brain got one more wrinkle on it, Makoto. Wow. I don't like the way you said that, but okay. <laughs> Die mad. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I feel even worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead, and now I'm getting chills. This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. Who are we gonna give our germs to? <laughs> Hero. Hero? Where'd they get the germs, though? Mm. Oh, wait. How long has it been again? You're gonna give they me got germs? Here? Oh, man. But he's infused with the power of the number five! <laughs> hey, thanks to the five been, chickens! Though? Only if know? he coughs on me five times. They don't, they don't tell you that at chicken college. Chicken college? Yeah. Oh. Hero's never been out of high school. How does he know chicken college? Intelligence. Yeah. That's a good question. A certain organization's behind all this. I'm finally sure of it. But I can't say her name, because as soon as you do, they come and... Get rid of you. What also, is this? Shocker. Steins Gate? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was. I didn't want to say it. That no, awful it game. Is the, no, it is the Frank Wall. Thank you. Uh, like Frankenstein. With the Frank part. But Kurt Cobain said their name. And John Lennon said their name. They're bad. So bad. Really bad. Should I spend time with Hero while he's in this kind of mood? <laughs> yes. I, imagine just walking up to someone they speak like that and just turn around after looking at them and they see you leave. <laughs> well then, well, we have a heated discussion about cosmog uh, cosmogony. Sounds like That's the cosmos are in agony. Fuck. <laughs> I Cosmic. learned all about a hero's theories on the origin of the universe. And that is why we play Ball and Jacks to quell the spirits within. <laughs> a hero and I grew a little closer today. <laughs> what weird shit are we giving him? What's his number one? I think he accepts the stand arrow. I think. Scarab brooch? No. God of War charm? No, that one was Taka. Uh, yeah, yeah it color. sounds yeah. like Takas. Uh, so those Max gloves, are those like That also Max? sounds like Takas. Emperor song I think was Biakia. He likes the cult stuff. Cover. <laughs> Does he like so, the like... tumbleweed? <laughs> I know he likes to call. I'm looking for shit. <laughs> Golden gun? No. Give me a second. Ray gun, probably. That Crystal sure. skull. Pro oh, we don't have any. And Golden, Golden airplane. airplane? It? We don't ah. have it. Ah. Uh, uh, 
Uh, Mr. Moodrock? Son! Probably. Son! Secrets of the... that one? Uh, Omo... Omo... Uh, yeah, Crystal Skull, Golden, Air, Golden Airplane, he both likes, or loves. Uh, Sacred Tree Sprig. Yeah, I think we got that one. That's the... Yeah, it's just uh, a tree. Yeah, yeah that. A he, likes, he loves that. Oh! You think I can have this? I was going to be invigorated. I feel, I feel awake. I feel like I like you. That's <laughs> <laughs> For all this time. Rabbit nails, just... oh, <laughs> Rabbit nails is so good. I'm sorry. It's just oh God, I love you as as hero so much. You... Oh, really? Yeah, you're, really you're like light. so I... perfect. You nail yeah. it every you, fucking Riffington. week. Yes. I oh thanks. I really needed that today. <laughs> Here, it's your turn mm -hmm. to get in the chair, Rabbit. Have fun. <laughs> Are you See? laughing? <laughs> because I can. Is seeing Hero so Shit. pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. The music I'm surprised shift. how we got you and me get along. It's, it's like I just changed the track. I'm like, no song. <laughs> I'm surprised how well you and me get along, Makoto. Seems like you're hanging out all the time these days. <laughs> it's not like I have better many options left. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? No, no, not at all. If you're such good friends, can I ask you something? I totally realized Sophie just now! Completely out of nowhere! I feel like I'm about to see the performance of a lifetime. Was that Midnight saying that, or Makoto saying that? Yes. Uh, say Makoto! Both? I'm feeling down in the dumps. No energy, no spark. Ah, there we go. Have you been feeling it? We... My line. What? Yeah, I took it ran. Line. It ran from him. That's My what line. I did. It ran away. That's what like, I did. Huh? It was like, huh? What are you talking about? It's because your hey, line ran away. That's why you got no energy or no spark. Hey, uh -huh. it. Mm -mm. You think so? Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Oh, oh, you don't have to hide it from me. I know what it's like. I've been there. And you know what I'd recommend? My orb! A new one! <laughs> Andre! <laughs> I'm back, bitch! Where'd you get this orb? <laughs> what is it? An orb! <laughs> okay. And? Just hold on to it! Just hold on to it! Just hold on to it for a second! Here! Here! Completely against my will, Hero shoved the crystal ball into my hands. Now ponder! Ponder the shit out of my orb! What do you think? Nice and cool to the touch. Feels good, doesn't it? Uh, actually... Yeah... You can feel its power, can't you? Mm, do I feel it? It's the ancient power of our timeless Mother Earth! Please don't tell me it's J.O. Mm -hmm. You see, that orb also has quite the history. Hey. <laughs> Never mind the one I paid like two mil for. Aggie, thanks for the 600. Hey, Mac Actually, Coach. there's probably hey. a demon living. There's probably a demon living out of the orb. When, he, when Leon shattered it, <laughs> probably the best thing that could have happened to him. Brah. Hey, Welcome. Makoto. Would you like to <laughs> ponder the orb? Yeah, mm, I, I'm doing it against my will. I wish I could do like a spam tune type voice because that's what it was read in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Makoto. Would you like to ponder the orb? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it was found in the ruins of Atlantis. It is literally a priceless one of a kind artifact.
this precious item grants enormous power to whoever holds it, bringing prosperity and peace of mind. I wasn't reading my lines on the second monitor. Don't worry about it. This <laughs> very ball has known the touch of Napoleon, George Washington, even Genghis Khan. <laughs> this character says <laughs> I think that's probably the single most unbelievably unbelievable thing I've ever heard and then Jesus had it the next thing you find out is he bought it from some guy off the streets in New York City or some shit at no, like one of those stands Kmart. and I got it at Trader Joe's <laughs> <laughs> For the low, well, low price of $1,499. Well, I'd like to give it to you as a present. Oh. Huh. oh In return, boy, I'd no. like you to come with me to a little stamina when we get out of here. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and don't worry, I'll see about getting a discount on an entry fee, because that's what friends do. Nah. He's the friend that gets you into a timeshare. <laughs> that. That's really nice of you and all, but I'm not sure I'm really interested. The crystal ball is already acknowledged you as its proper owner. Wait for it. Beep. See, there it is. It wants to stay with you. It needs to stay with you. It has given itself to you. So now you gotta keep your promise. You wanna know what that thing does to Oath Breakers. Oh, oh lord. Just, just, just ask Joan of Arc. All right, I'm counting on you, pal. But did Sean Dark break an oath? Refusing to take back the crystal ball, Hero hurried away. But I could hear him mumbling to himself and caught something about finally made my quota. Yeah, I finally made my fucking quota. I really hope I heard him wrong. He's the one that gets you involved with a cult. <laughs> Yeah. Daddy's gonna, Daddy's gonna eat tonight. Or he's he's the one that <laughs> funds the pyramid schemes with new people. Hero's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Now he has the orb. When I get out of you here, you just unlock the me. skill crystal prediction. Woo! Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Trust me, I tell you, the say, real whoever... experience, the real experience comes later. Whoever uh... tricked Hero into uh, foisting this stuff on people. They're more evil than you and I could ever be. Can I make it through two sentences? Yep. Yes. yes. Yeah. You did. You heard it. I went yay, but I was also quiet about it. I decided to go back to my room for a while. You know, with the sickness and the dying. Get up, come on, get down. Ooh, you can hear it. The orb? What? No, the sickness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear the orb, Makoto? Uh, I don't know how I'm hearing you through the soundproof walls. Do not heed the whispers! I'd like to think uh, that Crystal Ball is just like a phone. And <laughs> it's, a fucking, it's a walkie talkie. <laughs> look, look, look at the crystal orb. Hero, that's a paperclip and a piece of string. No, it's not. It's the orb. <laughs> I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. <sighs> I can't help it. I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped onto my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow, and then Kyoko woke me up at 4 a.m. for the fourth night in a row. <laughs> oh, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. Uh-oh. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness. Which is all to say... I was restless. At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. 
and within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. Makoto, clean my room. You're not Taka. <laughs> Go away, imposter. Uh, I don't know who this is. Mal, you want to read it? I under... understand. That voice. It's so familiar. Uh, it's... I understand. I still don't know who. I hear it. Sounds it sounds like people. Makoto's Japanese voice. Oh. It's... Whoops. Well, whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? It works. <laughs> it's. I was correct. You were correct. Me. Still me, or do you want to do it now? Uh... Let's have uh, Midnight confuse us by reading it. Cool. <laughs> I understand. I should understand everything. God, it's the curse of the orb. My goal isn't <laughs> to get out of here. It's to stay here. Huh? What am I trying to say? Hope. This is all for hope and that's why I have to stay I have to stay here and then I died <laughs> bye And now there's... Okay. My dream just now... What? It's so strange. Nice cross. Huh? Hey, you. You're finally awake. God damn it. Bleh. <laughs> Here comes the spirit man. <laughs> yeah. It's a shocker scientist. Come to turn you into a cyborg. I'm going to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Oh, hi, Kyoko. Oh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole new kind of dream now. Kyoko? 4 a.m. It's time for your daily exposition. Again? <laughs> daily affirmation, <laughs> let's go, bitch. 4 a.m. already? It's 4 a.m., Makoto. Oh boy, 4 a.m. I thought it was gonna be like only a couple days, not like four in a row. <laughs> Can we at least space this out, please? What the? That dick must be flat, Makoto. Would you? What did you say? Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom. Repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. <laughs> <laughs> if the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. Ding dong, bing bong. Time to get the fuck up, Makoto. Good morning. That's it. <laughs> okay. Get up, bitches. Uh -huh. 
Uh, it took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Uh -huh. <sighs> I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy. They had all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me, drenched in sweat. And it wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught, either. It was also... the dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and reeled them up from the depths of my memory. That's right. I remember last night. I was sleeping with a full-ass hoodie on and wondering why I'm sweating my ass off. I came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I... I heard a voice I didn't really understand. And then... A luchador with a knife. All of a sudden, I was awake. Lucha, lucha, motherfucker. <laughs> There's a strange person standing next to my bed, wearing a mask. And they were holding a knife. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I feel like my mind has been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somehow far away watching my body move on its own, and because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again. The next thing I remember... Kyoko was there. But what would she have been doing in my room? Again, for the fourth night in a row. Uh, what a strange dream. Why do you have a problem with a pretty girl coming to your room at night? She's standing over my body, looking at me menacingly. I Why don't do you have like a problem that. with that? Those are just for come in their eyes. No. Yeah. She's not, not very good at it. Stop being mean about it. That's not how that works. Not That's not how any of this works. Look, he's a bit of an Amazon. Kyoko's ah. fine. Then You're why am mean. I the one in the bed? No. Why you got a problem really with a dream? pretty girl in your room and you being in bed in the middle of the night? How can I possibly find out either way? My fucking lint roller and my knife. Why have you cleaned up nothing in your room? I opened the desk drawer and... Uh huh? What's actually missing in his room though? It's empty. There's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside? That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't... It, it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in here. Wait, that means... The knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it. I, I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, then this all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? Then who was behind the mask? And why was Kyoko... What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm gonna figure it out on my own. I should head to the dining hall. I c then I can talk to everyone else about it.
<laughs> I don't think that's actually gonna happen, Makoto. I've got an inkling. Oh. Ah, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. I'm sure as the sky's blue. <laughs> oh, not concerning at all. Uh, hey, Hina. You really had me worried, you know. What happened to you last night? Worried? Yeah. Right after nighttime hit, we all went to you. We all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been... you know... <laughs> I mean... Not that that actually happened. I mean, nobody here would wanna... you know... So anyway... <laughs> what are you doing? Savage! She thought I was dead, not fucking somebody, punk! <laughs> oh! Either Jesus! <laughs> 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 Damn, punk. <laughs> Play America's <laughs> favorite game show, everybody. Dead or fucking. Dead or horny. By the way, someone's being stiff today. To be fair, Jenga Wonka really <laughs> does have it both now. of those gears. <laughs> it, it does have both of them. <laughs> Why not both? What do you mean, why not, not both. both? Why not that both? Is oh, God damn right, why not both? When why Yandere not gets really out of control. Oh, God. Oh, I did. Uh. Wildly so. Oh, God. No. We were making a lot of progress. We had to ruin it somehow. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're doing more than this. We're going even further past this. We're going into the investigation. Oh, even boy. further beyond. We're driving the severed body all the way to Phoenix. We gotta find the dead luchador. I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys had even shown up. But why did you come get me? Did something happen? Um, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Let's go meet up with everyone else. Then they can tell you all about it. Reaction. Markov, no! He has died again. Oh. It's just not the same. I'll wait. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. Wait. Reaction. Oh. <laughs> no, oh, I want a powerful one from you. Give it to me. Reaction. Yeah! Barely. Yeah! <laughs> So is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? Oh yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? I lost at rock paper scissors, so I had to come and get. Hey, yeah. I lost at rock paper scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Oh, okay, sure. Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up. I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night. Nope, this way. <laughs> You never Makoto know. Doing... Just caveman SpongeBob around the corner. <laughs> no, he's doing combat rolls and trying to look cool. Yeah. And holds up his finger like a gun, thinking he's James Bond. <laughs> this is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral, all at once. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he rented the soup for a day, he's using it. Jeez.
please to show up now like it's no big deal. You made us stay up all night while you slept like a b baby in your bed. Just like Hina said, everyone was here besides Kyoko. And then I noticed they had formed a circle around something. And as soon as I saw what that something was, what the? Before I could catch myself, I'd cried out. Oh. Okay. Spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? Like, we're di we're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? Uh, but I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's not even phased. Relax. There's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Well, I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Yakia oh. found this little fella laying around, then we tore it apart. <laughs> that doesn't explain anything. Oh, come on, Makoto, you gotta keep up. Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here, just like normal. However, when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react. He didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? I waited there until midnight, or I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still, Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could each take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the uh, initiated the disassembly process. Sorry, I'll read that again. Oh, oh well. it's, it's okay. okay. It was Master's stroke of genius, a chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leaks beyond any normal remote controlled toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is why did he stop moving all of a sudden? I thought maybe he'd malfunction, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break down... Then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected? Like a heart attack. They were probably so scared of Master they ran away in terror. Or they had a heart attack. Or maybe they got sick or something. But Monaco made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that if not the mastermind? Oh, I'm sure that was a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. 
It's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? No, I don't! <laughs> <laughs> Makoto gets a special message. It's just a picture of a picture of Monokuma giving him the fingers of his face pressed up against the glass for Makoto. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I don't think now's a good time for like conversation. I just found something. What is it? What does it look like? What does it look like, buddy? It, it, Jawbreaker. It, it's huh? an orb. Oh. Oh. A jawbreaker? <laughs> Ponder it, find out. Oh. A bowling ball. Bo weird bowling ball. Bo a bowling ball with a growth? Bowling bomb. Diggy boogie dig. It's a bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. That's an old reference, but I, I see what you oh. do there. <laughs> the bomb! Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. That's super bad. We need to get rid of it. Some days you can't get rid of it. Roger that! It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, and it's sure to go off. M motion sensor? Are you serious? I'm starting to get all shaky! Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? You just handle a bomb. I, I'm fine! I'm totally fine! Ah! 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 You're, you're so not fine. You're all. Ah! 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 Oh. I probably should have mentioned. Uh. The motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> oh, jeez! Don't scare me like that! God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Jesus, Hina! Hey, come Damn, on! Bitch. The century's just getting started! You can call the race already! Whatever. Just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hanging on to it, it's not gonna gonna do anyone any good. Yeah. Good call. Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. Hero put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at that point. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the Mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could it that have been when I thought about it? I couldn't help but think back to the night before. Being attacked by that masked figure. Hey, uh, Makoto? Uh-huh. Don't hurt us! Do you hear a thing we just said? Uh-huh. So, that's a no. What are you, some... Sorry. Some kind of brain-dead farm animal? Sorry. We were saying, since we don't, well, since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? And we've decided to continue our offensive assault. To try and uncover the Mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the Headmaster's room. Really? Since the Mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance. Wouldn't you agree? But, but if the Mastermind comes back while we're in there... Look, if you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. Or go live in the chicken coop with all the uh, other chickens! You can be chicken number six! That's an unlucky number! This is a battle. A fight to the death between us and the Mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away or are you going to fight? Will you fight or die like a dog? <laughs> You're right. I'll go with you. Will you join in our crusade so that our banner may advance? Okay, then. We're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen. So prepare yourselves. I'll follow you anywhere, Master. To all the ends of the earth. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. I can do this. I'm a man. I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. Well, then you should know. Okay. We each nope, found a solution in our own ways, and when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. Surely Master is the one to show such bravery. You know it. Just make sure you don't get in his way. You know it. Sakura's gonna be watching over us. So we're definitely gonna find something to help us help bring this to an end. We finally reached the climax. So let's hurry up and finish it before the mastermind catches us all. And this will be the only climax hero ever achieves. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> uh. This is where we expose every last detail of the mastermind. Is everyone ready? Well, this seems very important. And yet we're still only halfway. Yay! 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 It's locked, as expected. As what? As expected. Oh, I'll need to read again. It's locked, as expected. So, what are you gonna do? Isn't it obvious? We're gonna tear this door off its hinges. Wait, but. The rules say... We've seen that the Mastermind isn't watching us. These don't These don't matter anymore. But like Mikado said, if the Mastermind did show up while we were in there... Then we'll just have to finish our business before it can happen. Okay, sure. But... We've come this far. We can't back down now. We've agreed. Uh, we've agreed this is what we have to do. So we have to do it. This is so beautiful. For serious. We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down. Okay, but how are we going to do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? Pickaxe? That thing in the tool shed. I... The plier. <laughs> oh yeah! The pickaxe! <laughs> My brain hurty. <laughs> Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Now then, Toko, 
What time is it? Adventure time. <laughs> Damn it, hand. I was about to. <laughs> Well, when we left the gym, it was just before nine o'clock, so it's probably nine on the dot right now. Okay, go get the pickaxe, and I'll be back here by nine o one. That's straight up unreasonable. I, 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 I by myself. Sure. Uh, surely you like to have your me oh, sorry me time yeah so surely you like to have your me time once in a while right well if it's me and you time master then y yeah you know how much time it took you to stay that 10 seconds take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. Not acceptable! <laughs> Lemon grab. <laughs> With that, Toko ran off, loud as a herd of rabid elephants. Maybe whatever! You're serious, though. Are we just gonna knock this door down? No problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. Are you talking about my orbs? I got I I got orbs. Yeah, he's right. And you can't move forward by always avoiding danger. <laughs> if you spend all of your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger. But if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Am I wrong? Maybe a little bit. Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Maybe, but, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense, I can hardly walk. Or talk. I'm all flubba. No. I'm totally flubbing. Flipstay. <clears throat> no. Fapsai. I don't no. like that. No. You don't like the idea of calling it fap sauce? Gross! No. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what about broker? <laughs> Gross! Where did that come from? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Why are you giggling that, Cheru? <laughs> Because Cheru has been, been vibrating in her seat this entire time, and I am worried. <laughs> what, you I, I say really that love line again? Or? Yeah, we didn't hear it. I did. Oh, you didn't? I didn't. I did. Oh, you? No, no, I did. Oh. Sorry, yeah. Oh, I'll I loved it. it. I'm, I'm trying it again. Groups. Where'd that come from? Wait, is that Jill? Where did you come from? I say I didn't hear it because I had like four people talk over him. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, it's the wonderfulest murderous fiend. Here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. <laughs> what about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping imbecile! The pickaxe! The seeping imbecile? Oh, master, you wound me with your executive level barbs. <laughs> Here comes the bloody nose! Seriously, though, did you really pick up the pickaxe? Omega-3 fatty acids! That's what you need! Great for the old memory factory! But I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Ah! The light bulb just went on. That's why I went to the garden, right? 
I was supposed oh. to get a pickaxe. Well, you got You're it. lucky I read fast. <laughs> I actually. You don't have to go to the memory. You don't have to go to the men menu. Yeah. All right, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. One more mystery. Uh, yep. Now we just need to figure out the identity of Object X. Now, what are you talking about? You already forget what we're talking about. You're like missing out on life. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. Oh, what? Oh. What did you find? Carpus. Did you hear me? I said corpse! A corpse? That's right. I found a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse in the garden? Yeah, that's why she changed. Well then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. We're going to the garden. Okay. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... I saw someone laying on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife buried in their stomach up to the hilt. What the? Uh, are they really dead? Sure, but... Oh, sorry. Who is it? A body has been discovered. <laughs> Mr. Insecure, thank you for the bits. The inverted Ooh, colors like concern me. Sounds like you'd be playing in Ratatouille. Mm. I like that co the, the the colors for Kyoko, but the inversion of the color mm -hmm. scares me. Just to make things clear. Mm -hmm. Lime stab. Aggie, thanks for the 500 bits. Last night, I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're... I, I don't know why, but they're laying dead in front of me. Jacket's backwards. <laughs> I told you there's a corpse hanging out here! Uh, are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? You need to begin looking around right away. However, be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. You're gonna check its pulse. We need to find out who this actually is. There's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a total mystery. But one thing I do know. Is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How did they wind up dead here? Their heart isn't beating. They're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. 
thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright pink. Y you know what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that's still there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Oh, good. Huh? How can you tell? Well, I think I see the outline of her chest. And just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. And the shoes and the fingernails. Really? Yeah, I was wondering then if that it could be. <laughs> okay then. Let's just tear the mats clean off. Wait, don't. But by the time he called out, it was already too late. Toko's hand shot toward the mask. And in the next instant. Oh. Yeet! I... Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, that's not what's supposed to happen here at all. It's Just supposed like to be cute. It's supposed to be Kyoko, and we're supposed to be really worried and sad and concerned and confused. And instead, it's a boss. <laughs> so when Hina said she saw the outline of her chest, she meant a booby trap. Ah. Ah. <laughs> also, it looks like Biaki has been through this shit before with how calm he is on this. He's subject. just he's just posed mm -hmm. there. It looks like he's explosion. saluting, kind of like oh uh, yeah, okay. No, that. That's like when you put your hand up to cover your eyes from the sun being out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. Mm. <laughs> mm, an explosion. Mm. There was a blinding light and a deafening roar. By the way, Punk, I liked your little yee! Yeah, I did yee. too. <laughs> <laughs> the body blew up. It blew up, 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 it blew up! Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out. But then... Hurry up! Put out the fire! Oh, yeah, I gotta be calm. Hurry up! Put out the fire. <laughs> it was my consciousness attempted to float away. That voice reached up and pulled it back down to Earth. And someone pressed something into my hands. I swear to God, if it's the orb. It was a bucket of water. He's like, you put it out the fire. Come on, dump the water on it. Okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. I... I guess that took care of it. What the hell, man?! It... exploded? I... I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. Now the body... is burnt to a crisp! That's beyond well done, man! Don't compare it to a steak. I'll never be able to eat steak again. Wow. <laughs> But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we going to find out who it was? 
Who isn't here right now? Huh? I'm over here. <laughs> Don't care. If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow down who it must be. There's only one person missing. It's... Kyoko. Kyoko? Then that dead body... Is Kyoko. No, that can't be right. Calm down. I didn't say it was Kyoko. But I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. The mastermind. What? The mastermind? There's no way! The mastermind got charboiled? Get serious! I agree. Normally, the idea wouldn't be worth even considering. But I have reason to believe it may be true. The mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move. Uh, yeah, Monokuma can hardly move around if its master is dead, right? But that corpse is a girl, right? Doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. According to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. It seems Our possible to take that as a position. He's somewhere in the we school are right being now. Pomavi, thanks for raiding with a party of thirteen. Hi everyone. Little Wayne oh, and Red, thanks hey, for the hey. follow. He toilet comes from raid. the toilet raid. He comes from the toilet raid. He comes from what the what? <laughs> what happened? Now he knows a toilet raid. Exotic. Categories. But welcome, welcome, welcome. We are on the fifth uh, trial investigation right now. If you've played this game before, uh, we kindly ask that if you have played this game before that you don't give any hints or spoilers because we have a lot of new people in here who have not experienced the game for their first time. Aggie thinks you're getting a sub tonight, on your locations. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of guns in this chat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but welcome, 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 welcome. We were playing Majora's Mask and there was a toilet NPC. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey. oh yeah. Toilet paper. See, the mastermind is some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. Then could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? Mukuro Ikusaba. The thirteenth, the thirteenth, Jesus, the sixteenth student <laughs> at Hope's Peak. What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. Five for five. Oh damn it! She said there was a sixteenth student here in the school. I think you'd better tell us everything you know. Uh, well, all Kyoko told me was. Mercury! Uh, uh, number five, baby! Number the 16th five. student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they called the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. 
It sounded like Kyoko thinks Mukuro Ikusaba is the mastermind. Meanwhile, Toko is still in a crater. <laughs> or flying through the air. <laughs> yeah, we never checked to see if Toko's dead or anything. Beep. She's just <laughs> ignoring her. Beep, 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 beep. No. The headmaster <laughs> isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt that I'm right. There's another student here, and it's female. That would match the body's characteristics. And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl Mukuno, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair. But if she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot... <laughs> how'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? None of this makes any sense to just suddenly show up and then die? I think we'd better take a closer look at the body. It blows up again. <laughs> Hero, yeah. you never that. expects the cooch bomb. <laughs> Uh, no! I mean, Snake didn't. Oh, That's what no. I was referencing now. <laughs> and now we're yeah. on the <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Uh, now I actually have no idea what it's from. Ah. I don't know anything. <laughs> Metal Gear. N nope. Don't know a thing. Technically, the Ground Zero here. precursor to Metal Gear 5. Nope. The Invisible One. Where a character from the from the portable game on PSP, Peace Walker, dies. Oh no. Just like the PSP. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Uh, hey, wait. What? Uh, aren't we forgetting something? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Who? Oh yeah! You got blown up, huh? Uh, forget about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she survived. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's my line. What just happened, Master? You declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. Hey, Doman. Oh, two. Thanks for the follow. Oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you inhale. That's enough for me to live. You want to try that again with a proper word? Exhale. Exhale. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Inhale. Inhale. I'm dumb. The actual literal opposite. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, let's actually get on with this. <laughs> I should take a close look at the body one more time. WB, our call. Watch yourself. Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. It's charcoal. Uh, don't, don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko, after all. Uh, hold on, there's something on the ground there. Fine. Mm. <laughs> There's something next to the body. It's... It's a key? Is it what Kyoko took from Monokuma? 
But what did you steal? I stole this. Uh, key? But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma, and it was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. That's right, the key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. Then this key is... What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So even you don't know then. How could I? Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. Mm hmm? That key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean... That's right. This game is now turned into a Metroidvania. The biolab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm room is on the second floor. It's in your hands now. So I'm your errand boy now? Oh, chop chop. No, wait. Ah! I can't go anywhere until I've checked out whether the key works or not. Also, that bomb was pathetic. It left a lot of the body intact. Really? I'm sorry, Arkov. Like. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Do you know what? We'll get right on that. It was a we'll glorified firecracker. Besides, the fact it left a hand in the boots unscathed, I already know who the body is. Maybe it was just a thermite bomb. Thermite wouldn't leave anything behind. It you mean incendiary. In That's it. And Toko flying away was just her jump scared. Ugh. She's also very light. Yeah. Nah. A stiff uh... wind could knock her over. God. Uh, the door to the data center was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to insert the key, I'd found in the garden into the keyhole. Lit. It fits! You doing okay, Midnight? The same pain that's been around this entire time. I'll be fine. And this is the key to the data center. I managed to unlock the data center. I guess all that running around paid off. I have to go tell everyone else. I immediately headed back to the garden. So you're back. How'd it go? I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center <laughs> on the fourth floor. So we can get into the data center now? Interesting. But why did the now deceased have that key on them? I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center to find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Here we are. We've used the Biakia teleporter. <laughs> Uh, looks like, like the, the do door is still unlocked. Sorry, I almost stole your line. It wouldn't be the first time somebody did it. Hey, and so... It... When you open that door, there's not gonna be another huge kaboom like before, is there? You're asking that question now? Don't worry. We have Makoto. And would you rather him ask it that after? What? 
It's in your hands now, me boy. <laughs> Sponge boy, me boy. <laughs> <laughs> Again? It means I finally trust you. That's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you look at it so slow? <laughs> Master told you he trusts you? Master t told you he you that? Well, don't let it go to your head! I am so not happy about any of this. I still hear the birds from the garden. Me too. They followed us. <laughs> it, it'll, it'll, be fine. it'll be fine. Makoto's on the job. Not that that's any kind of guarantee. It's a side effect from the uh, teleporter. <laughs> yes, we teleported the birds with us. <laughs> the entire room is just it, further. It brought the ambient sounds. Yeah, it teleported the ambient sounds with us. Uh, not a guarantee. <laughs> when Monokuma died, he left his finger on ambient bird sounds. <laughs> yes. I'm totally sure there won't be another kaboom. For serious. Twice the furthest from the door. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, just to be safe, I'm gonna stand somewhere else. The room next that he's standing next to explodes instead. <laughs> <laughs> I would laugh. Just to spite Hero. <laughs> uh, I reached out and put my hand on the door. Boom! I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Nothing happened. Yeah, no shit. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. In a word, the room was... strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. Hey, that's... Hero extended a, a trembling hand and pointed. <laughs> Look at all those monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. The gotcha room. Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms. Every part of the school was covered. This is... It's the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room. They're displayed here on these monitors. So, the sole purpose of this room is to watch <sighs> to watch us then this room is yes this room is where all the twitch streamers hang out no god no <laughs> not my secret huh? <laughs> not my secrets so does that mean we're just all in here together uh <laughs> it's like oh, looking wait. up at each other from across the table in D&D. Yes, oh, I see myself. I'm, yeah. I'm waving. Oh, yeah. I can see myself waving. 
I'm there. That's me in the background on that one. The mastermind's private room, without a doubt. The mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. So the mastermind was here. Watching us. Then I think this settles it. Huh? The body in the garden. If they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. That was the body of Mukuro Ikusaba. She was the mastermind. Then the mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? It would seem so. Is it serious? It's too bad they had to go and die before Master c killed him himself. The Mastermind is dead? Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Because, I mean, that body... Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So who was it that... But... But... If the Mastermind really is dead... That means we can finally get out of this hellhole! We gotta hurry up and find the exit! Come on! No. We have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh? But what about the exit? If the mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, we need to find out why the mastermind set this life or death game up in the first place. And I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was obviously murdered. M murdered hmm. Yes, hero, there was a knife in them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah <laughs> So you think yeah, so right. too, huh? I almost stole that line again actually Naturally The state of the corpse makes it plain as day. There is absolutely no doubt the mastermind was murdered. Well, why is it gotta be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? That's exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. Now, do you understand, you useless insect? You're banned from talking to Master ever again! Oh no. <laughs> the Mastermind's nope. purpose and banned why they were killed. This room may very well hold all the answers to those questions. After all, the Mastermind must have spent who knows how much time in here. Okay then, let's begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the mastermind. Now we're just chilling in here. Yeah, okay. That's fine. There's really a ridiculous number of monitors here. And the mastermind's been using them all to spy on us. As long as I have this. Uh-huh. Look at the master go. It's like a feast for the uh, eyes.
game, man. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> How much is a monthly membership? Uh, uh, Don't kill you me. Know, <laughs> you know, a bunch of subs. I was playing Final Fantasy XIV the other day, and I saw this one person with a great name. It was Lonely Fans. <laughs> ah. Oof. Oh, that's good. I like oh, it. I like it. I don't get it. <laughs> God damn it. There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high performance PCs. Nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Ego was installed on. Dismantle them and take their graphics cards. Yes. <laughs> yes. They're worth their weight in gold. Yes. They're all on. But they seem to be locked. So what? We can't do anything? Just use your just use your fighting spirit for once. Oh my goodness. Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. There we go. What the century are you from? The mastermind must have been using these to monitor the network. And alter ego. And the birds. I was gonna say, I like the bird ambiance. It's like very <laughs> relaxing. <laughs> Even though this isn't supposed to be relaxing at all. Uh, <laughs> it just sounds like we're somehow in this room, but the back wall is like open to the middle of a forest in the middle of the Maybe, bird maybe the camera the has the live, like the live feed for the garden uh, on the speakers right now. <laughs> Where do you think they hid the cameras? Birds. <gasps> the birds. birds aren't I real. told you! Hold you all! If it flies, it for it's... years! If it flies, it spies. Rose the red, <laughs> violets are blue! Don't listen to birds, they're watching you! Uh, yeah. Uh, this is my line, not me agreeing with you. <laughs> you may be right about that. But there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. There's nothing showing up on this one. Hmm? Hey, look! Thanks for that TV! Isn't that a TV antenna? It is! It's just like the one my grandma uses! It's definitely one of- it's totally one of those high def antennas! Wait, so if we hook up that antenna, we could watch TV? Uh-huh. Did someone say TV? God. Well, well! Saturday morning heat is here! Uh, are you talking about me? Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, you're all star for info from the outside world, huh? No, I just really want to watch the second season of Avatar again. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, let me work my magic. You'll be a quantum. And you'll be a quantum leap. <laughs> All right, let me work my magic, and you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. You know they're no actually one remaking. No up with this game is going to understand that reference. I know it. Don't worry about I it. know the reference. Uh, Are there Rabbit. any channels other than TV Land? You can do better. Rabbit, uh, they are remaking Quantum Leap here in Vancouver. Uh, every now and then I check and see what's filming in the area and uh, they're remaking Quantum Leap. I hope it's about a squeegee that travels through time and space they can call it Phantom Squee. <laughs> <laughs> Man, some of those episodes do not hold up. No. No. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? You still don't have a TV fixed? But just give me some time, okay? I gotta make sure we can drive Spaceship Earth safely. Ah! I get it. I... <laughs> I think I know what you're trying to say, but I also think I have no idea. This door is kind of creepy. It's 
got a picture of Monokuma on it. You know, what could be inside? What indeed? I wonder. Rattle, rattle. Yay. No luck. The door's locked, huh? What if you use the key that opened this room? God, is that what's been getting in my eye? Uh, let's give it a try, just in case. What'd you find? Rada, Rada. Rada. Whoa. <laughs> Was that static through Arkoff or through nobody? I heard it, so it could not have been me. Okay. Oh, well, I heard it. I don't know it. what that was. Who didn't hear it? I heard it. I heard it. Wasn't. Yeah. I didn't hear it. It came from Rabbit. What? I what? Also huh? didn't hear anything? Came there from Midnight. <laughs> Are you just naming people now? I no. Like it the it might be. Generally, if you don't hear it, it probably came from your microphone, is what I'm saying. Mm. Oh. oh I, I didn't that. do anything. That was what you were saying, yeah. If I was also dealing with static now, I would scream. Mm -hmm. uh, Try clicking no, the door again. No good. It won't even fit in the keyhole. <sighs> oh. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. <laughs> I don't believe that, Hina. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can't stop thinking about that door with Monokuma's picture on it. But worrying about it isn't gonna do me any good. Hina's right. The Mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. <laughs> oh! 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Good news for all you Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. Really? Now all I gotta do is switch it on. Then do it. Freaking idiot mastermind! Oh, you guys need to cut free from your regrets of the outside world. And they were sitting here watching TV the whole time! I really thought they could get away with it. Watch Jackass and nobody can stop me! Um? Uh, huh? This is. It's the feed coming from the surveillance camera monitoring this room, isn't it? Huh? That's weird. Yeah, sorry, I was yawning. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? You gotta be more energetic than that, he's pissed. He's sorry! Pissed. <laughs> hey! What are you doing? That's really weird. Hmm. You're weird. Weird in every way possible. And not just weird, super weird. But this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how is it showing the camera feed? Did you try changing the channel? Oh, good idea. Let's give that a try. I... I don't like the implications of this. I've got Hero... a smile on my face because it means I was right about it being broadcast so a... many episodes ago. A Hero went through each channel one by one. But on every channel it was just us. Oh, I've seen the show. Truman Show. It was the live feed of us standing there in the data center. I don't like how this one ends. What the heck? Is it broken or something? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. A trick? 
What kind of trick? <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not sure, but we're fucked. We huh? Everything has we're gone to fucked. shit. We're fucked. We're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I did not like dog. that. Oh, you, oh, you want me to try it again? Okay. No, no, that was funnier for cutting out. Yeah. Aggie thinks for the 420. I'm gonna have to fix my bit alerts. They're talking while the alert's going off. Shouldn't do that. Fine. <laughs> no, the what was perfect. It kind of was like the Tom and Jerry scream. <laughs> oh, thanks. thanks. Good. I like that then. Ah, oh, the classics. Yeah! <laughs> it's been a while, you freaking bastards! Well, that's a hard word to say to us. We're still just kids. What the fuck, Monokuma? Jesus! Oh, I'm sure at least one of us are bastards. Just kicks in the door. What up, sluts? <laughs> Do you ever recall what Monokuma called everyone in the gym? Courtesy of Cheru? <laughs> yeah, it was very funny. Yeah. 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 Good times. I was alive back then. Monokuma? How? <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be dead! <laughs> Me? Dead? Don't be freaking stupid! Hey! You're acting kind of strange! Something seems different! Of course I'm different! Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Not even. It's been like half a day at most. How are you alive again? Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the look on your faces right now is sublime. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. The moment you went from hope to despair. Don't tell me you pretended to be dead. All for this moment. Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who pretended it. Uh, you're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. I mean, that's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm going to laugh now! <laughs> and that's that. Well, <laughs> it's always time to cut off your past so full of hope and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want you all to have way more fun in this killing game. You can't be serious. You have to keep going? No! We're supposed to get out of here! Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. And besides, this life isn't all bad, you know? I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst. If it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? In rage. <laughs> I Woo! see what's happening. I'm pooped. All from from all that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point? You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. But I connected the antenna, so why is it just showing us the surveillance feed? Boop, boop, boop. Look how attentive they are now. Well then, I'm gonna let you in on a blood-gushing secret and tell you about it. 
That TV is absolutely without a doubt displaying the signal coming in on the antenna! Huh? But... What does that mean? Oh, Hina. It's displaying the, the signal? But it's just us standing here. Ugh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. <laughs> What? We get it, you're vindicated. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world! It's the most popular thing on TV! It doesn't matter how many times he says it. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. What? Broadcast live? To the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? Oh my god, he's scared. The camera feed is being broadcast? <laughs> no way! That's impossible! That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system. You know that? All you need is one weird trick that I found, and hijacking the airwaves is easy mode. Vindication! Are you being serious right it's now? It's being broadcast to the world on twitch.tv slash Colonel Cheru. God damn it. Yeah, right here. Of course. Yes. I heard a kind of creaking, but the sound is coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean, my mind had begun to creak and groan. Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries. Even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience to show them true despair like they've never seen before. I, came, I became the director of a despair based production. This is the ultimate reality show. The best in despair entertainment. You're lying. If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy. Yeah. There's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. What if they already did? Huh? But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you. But who would actually come here to help? Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know it personally, though, so, uh, whatever. But to take control of all communications like that, you'd need an astronomical amount of resources. Far superior than my own! Yep. So... Could things have come this far? Well, that's a secret. There's something you all need to do first. Remember? What? Yeah, duh. There's the little business of. A body's been discovered. Ugh. <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> A body has been discovered! <laughs> After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you'd like, the class trial will begin. Huh? A class trial? Do you mean 
I'll leave the next Mon of Kuma file right here. Everyone give it all you've got, okay? Okay, things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out. You're in for a heck of a ride. I can't wait, I can't wait. The amount of concern is rising in my body. Hey, remember when I said at the start of the stream that things were gonna get weird? Yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Things and got weird. Then he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible. The truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. I took every it took everything I had to just keep myself standing upright. I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment? And how is he still alive? I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. And, and plus, what did he say about a class trial? Well, that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is, at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? What, what are you talking about? I thought Mokuro Ikasaba was the one who died. The victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, that means the mastermind Mukuro Ikusaba isn't dead. So naturally, that body can't belong to her. It must be Kyoko. Oh god. There is no other possibility. The body is... Kyoko's? Kyoko's been murdered. No, it, it's not possible. Because... Because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. To have it end like this... I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself? Anyway... We'd better begin. But if we're going to have a class trial, then that means the killer. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. Oh, no. Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? Well... That's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? But you just said... I don't have time to explain now. There's a veritable amount of... There's a veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. So I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That is how the game works, after all. Oh, good! Well, I'd better start by checking out the Monokuma file. 
Can this I would think? be a good place to end for the night. That's yeah. where we're going to yeah. end it. You didn't need oh. to say that because that's where I was planning on ending it from the beginning anyway, so. Woohoo! Fair enough. Yo! My brain. Oh, yep. I've been waiting to see how y'all react to this. Uh, yeah, I, I don't I've like been excited the... for it for a long time now. I don't Where... like the implications of anything I'm thinking. I was waiting for like everyone to be like, oh, yay, we're finally getting out of here. And then just Monokuma, what's going on? Oh, well, wow. Well, <laughs> like in the middle of it. <laughs> and some of you had the perfect reaction and I was very happy. So, <laughs> yeah. so Arkov, how does it feel to be completely vindicated? Kind of not satisfying. No, of course it's not satisfying. Anyway, um, let's go down the line. Arkoff, where can they find you? You can find me here on Mondays and Thursdays, or Danganronpa and the Shadows We Cast, respectively. Barring any potential issues, you should be able to find me on twitch.tv forward slash Arkoff on Tuesdays and Wednesdays for Dot Hack and Scarlet Nexus. All right, Caitlin, where can you find? Where can they find you? Hello, I'm Caitlin C37. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter, Caitlin C37, where I do art. Uh, commissions are open, so if you want any of that, please just they find me. They do good work. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm gonna hop off. Good night, y'all. Good night, Caitlin. Bye, Bye. Caitlin. Caitlin. Luke, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Cyberlink420. Please subscribe to Sonic F Series on YouTube. I'm also an admin for the Transformers Wiki, so if you want to learn about the Optimus Prime toy that turns into a shoe, you can find that and more at tfwiki.net. Uh, all the fucking tie-in products. <laughs> Rabbit, where can they find you? Uh, oh, hey, hi, I'm Rabbit, funny internet man. Uh, you can find me on twitch.tv slash heymrrabbit. Uh, I stream Monday through Friday. Uh, my show's pretty good. You should come on down. I play uh, visual novels and horror games and RPGs. Uh, hitching up uh, a lot of good stuff. I've been trolling polls to do maybe an own ring thing. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, but yeah, we play like Prey and all sorts of other games. So come on down. It's a fun show. Uh, Mal, where can they find you? Uh, you can find my Twitch at twitch.tv slash sir underscore Malarvik, and one of these days I'll get back to streaming. Okay. okay. Midnight, where can they find you? Uh, midnight underscore Kai twi uh, Twitch and Twitter. Um, I have started the horrible, arduous task that Probate has given me, and I could use all of the help to keep my sanity, and there should be some many, many other things in the pipeline because I yep. actually got... A notification back from somebody today, which I'm excited about. Oh, You're what? Yeah. Nine, ten? Uh, in I'm the like game? twelve or thirteen or something you... of three hundred twenty-six. I saw it's 13. It's Shadow the Hedgehog. So... There's no sanity to be found. Your thirteen endings down so far. Yeah. Did you find the computer room? No, we're not gonna find that until like two two hundred and twenty or something. I've got a long way to go until I find Vector in the computer room. Uh, Ghost, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at PM double underscore ghost. Uh, and sometimes I drop in on everyone else's streams on Twitch. Before we pass off, I'm going to leave you with a random fact. In 1839, a Jamaican lawyer by the name of Fitzherbert Batty was declared insane. But his surname became an affectionate euphemism to describe someone who is harmlessly insane. Hmm. Huh. Oh, so that's where the term going batty comes from. From Fitzherbert hmm. Batty, who went crazy in 1839. The first crazy Neat. person. Probate! <laughs> the first <laughs> crazy person. Where can they find you? You can normally find me on Twitch and Twitter at Probate. I stream Monday through Thursday normally from 4 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I've been doing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! lately. I should be doing Monster Rancher, but I'm going to be honest, I've stop that game so thoroughly it's hard to work up the gumption yeah i understand <laughs> oh you can um, grab it and then yeah, punk. yeah i just stretched where can they find you mm -hmm. uh you can find me on twitch and twitter and instagram at punk yard dog um i do D, &D at uh, twitch.tv slash farting tart and twitch.tv slash trash king arisen 
Uh, I think. Oh, uh, Saturdays I do Yakuza streams called Shoki Saturdays. Yeah. 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 Um. All right. Uh, tomorrow. 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 Uh, we won't be doing Dying Light tomorrow. If you've been looking forward to that, we will be playing Risk of Rain Two because the new update drops tomorrow, and I'm super <gasps> excited mm. about it. Uh, I finally get my character. <laughs> I'll be joined by Bromad the Nomad, hey Mr. Rabbit, and Midnight here. Um, and the three, the four of us will be playing tomorrow. And if it's that good, maybe the next day after, but on Wednesday, I think I we might be doing Dying Light 2 instead, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, well, we yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna see. Ay, yeah, yeah. Ay, yeah, yeah. Ay, yeah, yeah. I put ending uh, on the... I am so happy that I'm getting the sniper and the new the other new character looks so fun. It's gonna be so good. Um I am going to be sending you off to another Vaporwave VTuber. Uh Vapor Bobble. <sighs> yeah. They're playing Mario Kart 8 right now. Uh raid message will be Beware blue shells. No. That'd be related to this stream, not their stream. You're on every channel. You're on every channel. <laughs> every channel. Oh, every you're channel. on every channel. And then just a period after it. No, nothing else. Just, just judgmentally. <laughs> on every channel. <laughs> They're gonna be so confused. Good. All right. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next Monday for Danganronpa, unless I catch you in our normal other streams throughout the week. Thanks for hopping in, guys. I love you all. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Take her easy.